Welcome to the fantasy audiobook, Dragon Ball. I, Shenlong, tell me your wish. Chapter 1. Ding, dear master, Shenlong's system is at your service. Ding, seven Dragon Balls have been released into the Dragon Ball world. Zhang Wei didn't believe before that his cousin could disappear without a trace just by going out to pick up a courier. His whereabouts are still unknown to this day. But now, Zhang was confident, he just went out to buy a pack of chewing gum, and he didn't know whether he stepped with his left foot first or his right foot. As soon as I left the house, it turned out to be Nima's time travel. When I came to this dark space, I couldn't see my fingers. Just say, is it too far away? After calming down, Zhang Wei couldn't help but wonder, could his cousin have traveled through time like him while picking up the express delivery? While thinking, Zhang Wei couldn't help but want to have a piece of chewing gum. Reach out and touch, I said Tongzi, when you took me to time travel, couldn't you wait until I bought chewing gum? Zhang Wei said with a bitter face. Ding, what the master taught me is that this system will pay attention next time. Zhang Wei's face twitched. Pay attention next time. Tongzi, worry, your ancestor. The most basic ability of Dragon System is to throw the seven Dragon Balls of the system into the world of Dragon Balls. When the natives of the Dragon Ball world collect these seven Dragon Balls, they can summon Zhang Wei, the master of the system, to this world in the form of the Dragon in Dragon Ball. After realizing the wishes of the natives, Zhang Wei can immediately release the transformation of the dragon form, return to human form, and realize true time travel. So, Zhang Wei now can only be said to have traveled through half of time. Currently in a semi-travel state. After realizing the wishes of the indigenous people, Zhang Wei can also get rewards. That is copying everything about the other party. It also includes the wish that the other party made to Zhang Wei and came true. So when you collect the seven dragon balls, the stronger the person who summons Zhang Wei, the more powerful Zhang Wei will be. If the native who summoned Zhang Wei was Zeno, then the starting point of Zhang Wei's journey would be equivalent to the end point of the hard work of many people next door. As for the dragon that Zhang Wei transformed into, he can fulfill the wishes that the dragon in the plot can fulfill, and there are no restrictions on the realization of these wishes. For example, in the plot, there are many restrictions on resurrecting the dead. People who have died cannot be resurrected, and people who have died once cannot be resurrected. These restrictions are all bullshit to Zhang Wei. As long as someone makes a wish to him, Zhang Wei can be resurrected. Even if the deceased has been reincarnated, Zhang Wei can still be resurrected. Even if Zeno erases all universes, as long as someone makes a wish, Zhang Wei can restore the erased universes to their original state. Anyway, if it weren't for the fact that it couldn't make wishes to itself, just the ability of the Shenlong system to realize wishes would have been so powerful. Not to mention the buggy ability to copy everything about the other party after the wish is fulfilled. And this is only the most basic ability of the Shenlong system. In the darkness, not knowing the passage of time, Zhang Wei could only know that he himself had not passed away. Tongzi, do you know the whereabouts of my cousin? Tongzi said nothing. Tongzi, can I return to my original world? Tongzi's continued silence is golden. Tongzi, when can I leave this hellish place? Zhang Wei shouted. He didn't know how long he had been in the dark, but Zhang Wei's patience had reached its limit. Zhang Wei assured. Keep going like this. He's going crazy. Ding, the seven dragon balls have been collected. Someone is summoning the master. Oh, I can finally leave this hellish place. When Zhang Wei heard this, his handsome, mature and steady face couldn't help but smile. The world of Dragon Ball is about to explode at every turn, and here I come. The next moment, in the blinding darkness, Zhang Wei turned into a brilliant golden light and disappeared. 749 AD. Earth, behind the vast snow-capped mountains is a dense forest. Between the forests, there is a man-made road. Following this spacious road leads to a heavily guarded fortress. On the fortress, there was a RR, flag with white letters on a red background, swaying in the wind. That is the headquarters of the most vicious legion in the world, the Red Ribbon Legion. This day, the Red Ribbon Army, which is so notorious in the world that even the regular army of the king who rules the world can do nothing to them, never expected it. It was their headquarters, the day someone knocked on the door. Now, in an office, people could tell at a glance that Wu Delang was his half-brother. Marshal Black, 
the commander-in-chief of the Red Ribbon Army, received a report from his subordinates. A UFO is rapidly approaching the headquarters of the Red Ribbon Legion. Regarding the invasion of the headquarters, Marshal Black played with a small golden bead in his hand and wore a one-eyed dragon eye patch with a look of ecstasy on his gang boss-style face. The bead in Marshal Black's hand is a two-star dragon ball. Just a few days ago, this two-star dragon ball suddenly appeared in the forest outside the headquarters of the Red Ribbon Legion. It was picked up by Marshal Black who happened to be hunting in that forest for recreation. Marshal Black was overjoyed on the spot. Isn't this bead, this bead that comes to you unsolicited, the legendary dragon bead that, after gathering seven of them, can summon a dragon to fulfill any wish? For reasons well known to everyone, Marshall Black has been coveting the dragon ball for a long time and sent a large number of his men to collect rumors about the dragon ball all over the world. Therefore, I already have a clear idea of what the legendary seven dragon balls look like. The first time he got it in his hand, he recognized this small golden round bead. It was exactly what he longed for, the two-star dragon ball among the legendary dragon balls. Very good. There are only six dragon balls left to summon the dragon that can grant all wishes. My long-cherished wish has come true. With this two-star dragon ball in hand, Marshal Black already knew that an enemy was coming to attack the headquarters of the Red Ribbon Legion without the need for a report from his subordinates. As long as he holds the two-star dragon ball in his hand, Marshal Black can clearly sense the location of the other six dragon balls. It's a little different from the rumored dragon ball. In the legend about dragon balls, it has never been mentioned that the dragon balls can sense each other's position. Marshal Black didn't even think about it, since the dragon balls can sense each other's position. The Red Ribbon Army can fight against the powerful force of the regular army under the king who rules the world. Why have we never found out that in recent hundreds of years, someone has collected the seven dragon balls to summon the dragon and grant wishes? Actually, that's because this two-star dragon ball was not made by the gods of the earth, but was put into this world by Zhang Shenlong, not long after it appeared in this world. Marshall Black didn't know it yet, but he had already gotten a big deal. I am very lucky to have become Zhang Dashenlong since his debut. Qualified to be the first person to make a wish to him. In Marshall Black's induction, the signals of six dragon balls were gathered together, and they had obviously been collected together. Now they are moving quickly towards the headquarters of the Red Ribbon Legion. Obviously, the other party came for the two-star dragon ball in Marshall Black's hand. But in the eyes of Marshall Black, before he took action, six dragon balls came to his door. The Black Marshall's classic, sinister face of a gangster is almost bursting with laughter. I accepted the six dragon balls delivered to my door politely. My wish for many years has finally come true. Marshall Black was shaking with excitement. But excitement is excitement. Marshall Black was not stupid either. The opponent was able to collect six dragon balls in a very short period of time. This mobility. The Black Marshall also had to admit that the Red Ribbon Legion, which he was so proud of, could never compare. So Marshal Black immediately issued an order to raise the headquarters, defense level to the highest level. He took out the headquarters and faced the king's enthusiasm to assemble regular military forces from all over the world and besiege them. To face the coming uninvited guests, six dragon balls have been collected. After Marshal Black issued the order, countless soldiers of the Red Ribbon Legion began to gather urgently, and the sound of hurried footsteps was heard. Armored combat vehicles and new humanoid combat mechas filled with fuel and ammunition are also constantly coming out of the warehouse. The fighter jets of various types parked at the airport are also eager to try. Ready for battle. That's it. Marshall Black doesn't think it's safe yet. Regarding his long-cherished wish, in addition to ordering the troops at the defense headquarters to prepare for battle, Marshall Black also showed his trump card without hesitation. He picked up the phone and wanted to call the number of the world's number one killer, Dao Baibai. In the eyes of Marshal Hay, this Dao Baibai is a walking humanoid strategic weapon. But Dao Baibai is powerful because he is powerful, and he is useful because he is easy to use. It's just that the fees are not cheap. To hire the best killer in the world to take action, the money required is also the most expensive in the world. During Dao Baibai's mission, he was charged per head. 100 million yuan per head. In addition to the mission target, 
it also includes people who hinder him from performing the mission. There is no distinction between high and low. They are all worth 100 million yuan per head. The main focus is fairness and justice. And every time Dao Bai Bai takes action, he doesn't know whether it is intentional or unintentional. He rarely kills only one person and is done. All the guys killed by Dao Bai Bai during the mission are walking 100 million. So, if you want to ask Dao Bai Bai to take action, you must have the consciousness to bankrupt everything. As for defaulting on debt, you don't want the best killer in the world to serve you for free, right? If not necessary, Marshall Hay didn't want to ask Dao Bai Bai to take action. But it's related to what I've been wishing for for many years. Marshall Hay gritted his teeth, holding the phone receiver in his hand, and dialed Dao Bai Bai's phone number. Do, do, Dao Bai Bai's phone calls were never answered. Marshall Black looked stunned. With Dao Bai Bai's charging standards, it is normal to not receive any business in a year. Why do you need to use Dao Bai Bai? This guy actually got another business. What bad luck. Marshall Black broke the phone in displeasure. The Red Ribbon Army under his command is a powerful dark force that even the king who rules the world and his regular army cannot defeat. To deal with the invading enemy, six Dragon Balls have been collected. There is no need to ask Dao Bai Bai to take action, he can easily do the work himself. Please give me a peach in vain. There is too much money and no place to spend it, so be careful. With this thought in mind, Marshall Black held the two-star Dragon Ball tightly and moved his short legs to the command room of the headquarters. Accompanied by the tall black adjutant, Marshall Black ordered the detected image of the unknown target to be put on the big screen. Soon the image that appeared on the big screen shocked everyone in the command room. On the big screen, it is an image of an old man flying at high speed with his hands behind his back, stepping on a wooden stake. Marshall Black was even more shocked. The pipe in his mouth and the two-star dragon ball in his hand fell to the ground at the same time. He recognized the old man on the big screen who was flying towards the headquarters of the Red Ribbon Legion at high speed. It turned out that six other dragon balls were collected. Not someone else. It is Dao Bai Bai who is the best killer in the world. Open all firepower immediately and kill him. Seeing Dao Bai Bai on the big screen flying into the outer defense line of the Red Ribbon Legion headquarters, Marshall Black immediately roared murderously. Marshall Hay knows that Dao Bai Bai is very powerful. Especially now, because of Dragon Ball, Dao Bai Bai has become his opposite enemy. The frightened Marshall Hay didn't dare to be careless. As you command, Commander-in-Chief. A tiger-headed man in military uniform said immediately. After the Black Marshal gave the order. Perimeter line of defense. The vast white snow-capped mountains that cover the headquarters of the Red Ribbon Legion. Countless anti-aircraft missiles immediately flew out, trailing long tail smoke, and swarmed towards Dao Bai Bai, who was flying on a piece of wood in the sky. But he saw Dao Bai Bai's face, the corner of his mouth twitching, revealing an expression of confidence and contempt. He raised a finger casually, heading towards the airtight anti-aircraft missiles coming towards him from all directions. A flash of light flashed between his fingers, and powerful energy exploded. Dao Bai Bai used his special trick, Dong Dongbo. Along with the Qigong waves, like bullets fired continuously from a machine gun, they were continuously fired from Dao Bai Bai's fingers. Those who came under siege were anti-aircraft missiles that were powerful enough to knock a fighter jet into the air and explode. They also exploded in the air among the criss-crossing Qigong waves. Bako Um, Bako Um, look in the eyes of everyone in the Red Ribbon Legion. Dao Bai Bai has turned into an explosion of flames. The explosions were all in one, and the smoke was so thick that Dao Bai Bai could no longer be seen. HMPH, if a person dares to break into the headquarters of our Red Ribbon Legion, he is really asking for death. So what if it can fly? It's not like it was wiped out in the face of our missile attack, ha ha ha. Everyone in the Red Ribbon Legion, including Marshall Black, all agreed that Dao Bai Bai was too dead to die anymore. No one would believe that the human body can withstand the successive explosions of anti-aircraft missiles. But as the big screen appeared, Dao Bai Bai's figure rushed out of the explosion area. It was intact, even the pink dress with a kill on the chest that he was wearing didn't even have a hole. While continuing to fly towards the headquarters of the Red Ribbon Legion at high speed, the smiles on the faces of the Red Ribbon Legion members immediately disappeared. 
Deep fear from the heart replaced the original smile on his face. Even the anti-aircraft missiles that can destroy heavy fighter jets can't kill this person. Is this guy still a human? Marshall Hay stared at the screen, Dao Bai Bai, who had broken through the outer defense line of the snow mountain, and held the two-star dragon ball tighter. He had a gloomy face as a gang boss, and his heart began to waver. Facing Dao Bai Bai, who can even physically carry anti-aircraft missiles. Many years after becoming the commander-in-chief of the Red Ribbon Army, Marshall Black finally felt the almost forgotten feeling of fear again. Being able to realize his wish for many years has become an obsession in Marshall Black's heart. This obsession quickly allowed Marshall Hay to overcome his fear of Dao Bai Bai. After making up his mind, Marshall Black immediately ordered all the soldiers on standby at the headquarters of the Red Ribbon Legion to dispatch to fight Dao Bai Bai. Then he ordered the black adjutant who was standing upright next to him and whose altitude was higher than him, go and call me Blue quickly. Blue is a general of the Red Ribbon Army. He has blonde hair and blue eyes and is handsome. He is tall and has strong muscles. Except for severe misophobia. And I love cute little boys. He is a perfect man like Prince Charming in the eyes of girls. He is also the most capable man in the Red Ribbon Legion. In addition to the powerful strength of the physical body to crush steel. Blue's blue eyes are not only beautiful, but also have mysterious superpowers. Whenever an opponent comes into contact with Blue's gaze, he will be paralyzed and unable to move, and his whole body will be in extreme pain. In the end, he could only let Blue be slaughtered, like fish on the chopping board, with no power to fight back. Marshall Black believes that if there is anyone in the Red Ribbon Legion who can defeat Dao Bai Bai, it must be Blue. Just when Black Marshall summons Blue, the headquarters of the Red Ribbon Legion has been reduced to a battlefield of brutal fighting. Bodies in military uniforms were piled all over the ground. The originally majestic armored combat vehicles had turned into piles of dilapidated wreckage. The technologically advanced humanoid combat mecha was also beaten into black smoking scrap metal. From time to time, there are various types of fighter jets in the sky, plumping black smoke and falling to the ground. The target of the attack, Dao Bai Bai, was walking among the headquarters buildings of the Red Ribbon Legion as if strolling in a garden. Monster, he must be a monster. There is no way we can defeat the monster. Run. I no longer want to be a soldier of the Red Ribbon Legion, I want to go home now. Not long after, Marshall Black's army sent to fight Dao Bai Bai collapsed due to heavy casualties. Does this turn out to be the strength of the world's number one killer? Marshall Black was stunned when he saw this scene. Blue, can you defeat him? Marshall Black asked fearfully. If Blue answers, he cannot defeat Dao Bai Bai's attack. Marshall Black will be very bachelor and hand over the two-star dragon ball in his hand to Dao Bai Bai. As long as the green hills are still there, there is no need to worry about running out of firewood, and Marshall Hay is also clear. Hand over the two-star dragon ball and let Dao Bai Bai realize his wish. The Black Marshal simply has to wait for one more year before he can collect the dragon balls again so that he can realize his long-cherished wish. Marshall Black can afford to wait one more year. Commander, please rest assured, no one will be my opponent, Blue. Blue was actually shocked by the strength shown by Dao Bai Bai. But Blue's biggest reliance is his pair of super-powerful blue eyes. This gave him the confidence to defeat Dao Bai Bai. Then what are you doing here? Why don't you go kill Dao Bai Bai and take the six dragon balls from his hand? Hearing Blue's confident speech, the fear in Marshall Black's heart disappeared and he shouted excitedly to Blue. But soon, the fear in Marshall Black's heart returned. This is because, Blue fought against Dao Bai Bai, and as soon as they fought, he was instantly killed by Dao Bai Bai's tongue. He didn't even have time to use his greatest support, his super powerful eyes. I can only blame Dao Bai Bai for wanting to get the last two-star dragon ball in Marshall Hay's hand. I don't want to waste my time on this scumbag Blue. Without giving Blue a chance to perform, he sent him away directly. It's over now, is it still too late for me to hand over the dragon ball now? Blue mistook me, the Black Marshal was desperate. Marshal Black thought of escaping at this time, but it was already too late. Not long after, with a, bang, a big hole opened in the cement wall of the underground command room. Dao Bai Bai walked in with her hands behind her back and a look of excitement on her face. 
Many of the Red Ribbon Legion members present were carrying guns. But in my heart, I couldn't bear the slightest thought of resisting Dao Bai Bai. They just looked at Dao Bai Bai approaching with fear on their faces, not daring to move for fear of drawing Dao Bai Bai's attention to themselves. Dao Bai Bai walked directly to Marshal Hay, who was trembling all over. This is the dragon ball you want. For the sake of our long acquaintance, Dao Bai Bai, please spare my life. Marshal Hay knelt in front of Dao Bai Bai, raised the two-star dragon ball high above his head, and begged for mercy tremblingly. The black adjutant on the side realized at this moment that this invincible enemy was coming for the dragon ball in the commander-in-chief's hand. But things have developed to this point, and it seems that it is too late to realize it now. The black adjutant could only hope at this moment that Dao Bai Bai would spare them for the sake of the commander-in-chief handing over the dragon ball, and treat the Red Ribbon Army like a fart. Otherwise, the arrogant Red Ribbon Legion will come to an end today. Marshal Black, I'm very happy that you can hand over the dragon ball to me. But even so, it cannot break my rules. It's impossible for me to be free to your Red Ribbon Army. Let me think about it, how many people did I kill on the way to your headquarters? Dao Bai Bai took the two-star dragon ball from Marshal Hay's hand and deliberately made a thinking expression. The Black Marshal looked desperate. He knew that he and the Red Ribbon Legion were dead today. Who knows how many people Dao Bai Bai killed on his way to the headquarters of the Red Ribbon Legion. Judging from the current losses at the headquarters, he has killed at least several thousand people, maybe tens of thousands, that's for sure. Dao Bai Bai's rule is that one person's head is 100 million yuan. Even if the entire Red Ribbon Legion was packaged and sold, Marshal Black would not be able to afford the money. Dao Bai Bai had no intention of letting their Red Ribbon Legion off as a fart. Really, after some pretentious calculation, Dao Bai Bai quoted a price that Marshal Black could never afford. Here, can you give us some grace? Just give us a few days, and we will definitely give you the money. Marshal Black was crying and making his last effort to save his life. Sorry, Black Marshal, we operate on a small budget and do not owe you any credit. Even if you are the commander-in-chief of the Red Ribbon Army, there is no exception. Peach has a white face, and the cat smiles at the mouse. Then, because he owed Dao Bai Bai a sky-high fee, he was unable to pay it. Marshal Hay and others were all stunned by Dao Bai Bai. The headquarters of the Red Ribbon Legion was destroyed. It is conceivable that with the demise of the headquarters, other branches located around the world will soon fall apart. Before death came, Marshal Black had only one thought in his mind, is this the end of my wish to grow taller? After collecting the seven dragon balls of the Zhongwei brand and killing Marshal Black and others, Dao Bai Bai came to the sky with excitement to summon the legendary dragon to fulfill his wish. At this time, at the headquarters of the Red Ribbon Legion, everyone who was still alive had run away, and the fortress was empty. Only the flag that was installed on the fortress, with the red background and white letters, RR, was still holding onto its post, fluttering in the wind with great energy. Dao Bai Bai put the seven dragon balls he collected on the open space in front of him. He raised his hands high and shouted toward the sky, Come out, Shenlong, and fulfill my wish. In an instant, the seven dragon beads shone with golden light. The sky and the earth also changed. It was obviously a clear sky, but lightning and thunder began. A heavy sense of oppression, like the end of the world, descended between heaven and earth. People around the world are feeling it. Western capital. The home of the richest man. This is a scene that only happens when someone gathers seven dragon balls and summons a divine dragon. But, is this impossible? The blue-haired young girl looked at the dragon ball radar she had just made in her hand, which displayed the signals of six dragon balls distributed around the world, with a look of confusion on her face. Kalanta, after hundreds of years, someone finally gathered the seven dragon balls and summoned the dragon. I don't know if it is a blessing or a curse for this world. A short, fat white cat with a cane looked at the strange scene in the sky and sighed. Above the Kalan Tower, the temple where the gods reside. A skinny green-skinned man, also wearing a cane, looked at the strange phenomenon in the sky with a confused expression. This green-skinned man with a wrinkled face did not feel from the vision in the sky that the divine dragon that was about to be summoned had anything to do with him. W. What on earth is going on? The old green-skin muttered to himself inexplicably. 
Under the close attention of the old white cat and the old green skin, Dao Bai Bai summoned the dragon. In front of Dao Bai Bai's eyes, a huge green dragon measuring over a hundred meters appeared. In front of the green dragon, Dao Bai Bai was so small. However, Dao Bai Bai did not notice any powerful aura from the green dragon in front of him. It was incompatible with the strong sense of oppression around him. The awe of the blue dragon in his eyes was replaced by contempt. Zhang Wei, who transformed into a cyan dragon, first looked at the surrounding scenery greedily. Finally, it was no longer a dark space. It was a ghost place that was nothing but darkness. He had had enough. He took a deep breath of the sunny air and showed an expression of enjoyment. After moving his body and transforming into the dragon form for the first time, Zhang Wei felt a little uncomfortable, but that didn't stop him from focusing on the old man who was as small as an ant on the ground. I saw the old man, wearing a pink robe and Mandarin-style clothes, with a big, kill, on his chest, and a braid with a red bow tied on it. With his hands behind his back, he also looked at himself from the bottom up with an air of superiority. The characters are so recognizable that Zhang Wei recognized them at just one glance. It turns out that this guy Dao Bai Bai summoned me. My journey in the Dragon Ball world begins with realizing your wish. Zhang Wei felt that this was a good start, and he was not disappointed because the person who summoned him was not Zeno or Beerus, the powerful characters in the plot. In fact, Dao Bai Bai's start is also very good. The villain Dao Bai Bai is a villain, and his appearance is very cool, but this does not prevent him from being one of the few masters on the earth in the early days of Dragon Ball can obtain the inheritance of Kakusen Ryu. A smile slipped across the huge corners of the dragon's face. Say your wish, quickly. Zhang Wei's mood at the moment is that he just wants to finish Dao Bai Bai's business quickly so that he can go free and move around early. The dark space before made Zhang Wei suffocated. Shenlong, let me and the crane immortal live forever. Dao Bai Bai spoke out his wish. As a pursuing killer who has lived for hundreds of years, Dao Bai Bai believes that he still has room for improvement, but the premise is that he must have eternal youth that will not age. And he Shanran is his elder brother. The two brothers usually have a very deep relationship. Now that there is room for improvement, Dao Bai Bai will of course take his brother to work together to make progress. Immortality, Zhang Wei couldn't help but weigh it. The dragon in the plot has never granted anyone a wish such as immortality. Everyone on the earth is dead, but the dragon can be resurrected. The old Piccolo Daimao can't even spit out eggs, and Shenron can restore his youth. But it's hard to say whether the Earth Divine Dragon, or even Namek's Paranga, has the ability to help others achieve immortality. But for Zhang Wei, he has the ability to realize wishes without restriction, so he can indeed realize wishes that the dragon in the plot has never fulfilled. Although Zhang Wei didn't like Dao Bai Bai, it wasn't because he was a killer, but because he killed innocent people indiscriminately and was stingy. He killed a tailor just because he didn't want to pay for custom clothes. But Zhang Dashenlong is about rules and martial ethics. Since Dao Bai Bai summoned him and did not harm him, let's follow the rules. It's very simple. Zhang Wei raised the dragon's claw and snapped his fingers. Dao Bai Bai's wish came true, and he returned to his 18-year-old self. He looked ecstatic. While fulfilling Dao Bai Bai's wish, Zhang Dashenlong also received rewards. In addition to getting one, Dao Bai Bai's wish for immortality can be used on Zhang Wei himself or others. At the same time, Zhang Wei also copied Dao Bai Bai. The abilities that Dao Bai Bai had, Zhang Da Shenlong also had. Dao Bai Bai lived for hundreds of years, and the various experiences and knowledge accumulated including combat also belonged to Zhang Da Shenlong. Ding, got Dong Dongbo. Ding, I got the pillar flying technique. Ding, I got the wish of immortality. This is the power of the best killer in the world. It's so strong. I feel like I've become a superman. At this moment, Zhang Wei felt a powerful force emerging from his body that he had never imagined before. He enjoyed the feeling of having great power. After all, in the past, according to the standards of Frieza Legion's combat effectiveness detector, Zhang Wei was just a scumbag. Your wish has come true, so goodbye. Zhang Wei said hello to Dao Bai Bai who had regained his 18-year-old youth, and was about to leave. Wait a moment Shenlong. Seeing that Zhang Wei was about to leave, Dao Bai Bai immediately spoke out. The corners of his mouth twitched, and a strange smile spread on his face. 
Zhang Wei did not leave immediately, but looked at Dao Baibai with a playful expression. Shenlong, you fulfilled my wish, how about you let me repay you? Dao Baibai looked at the hundreds of meters of green dragon in front of him. Even so, anyone with a discerning eye could see that he had bad intentions. Then how do you repay this dragon? Zhang Dashenlong also looked at Dao Baibai who obviously didn't hold in his fart well, and asked with a joking look in his eyes. Why don't you just let me kill someone for you for free? Dao Bai Bai smiled evilly. He will definitely kill the dragon in front of him. After being a killer for so many years, Dao Bai Bai has killed everyone on earth who can breathe. I just haven't killed the dragon. That's pretty good. Let's do this. I'll tell you when I have someone I want to kill in the future. Zhang Wei pretended to think for a while and gave his answer. No, you have to tell me who you want to kill now. If you don't have anyone to kill, then I will kill you. Dao Bai Bai's fingers were pointed at Zhang Dashenlong, huge energy shining at the fingertips. Regarding Dao Bai Bai's attempt to burn bridges across the river, Zhang Wei simply said, You already have a way to die. The dragon system is not for nothing. In addition to the most basic abilities, if there is no life-saving means at the bottom of the box, can Zhang Wei go out to open a business and compete with the Earth Shenron, the Namek Shenron, and the Super Shenron? Zhang Wei is just as good as Piccolo Daimao, turning his back on others. In the form of the Cyan Dragon summoned by the Seven Dragon Balls, Zhang Wei was in an absolutely invincible state. Anyone, including Zeno and Grand Priest, took hostile action against Chiang Kai-shek. Those who make wishes with malicious behaviors such as attacking Zhang Shenlong, making wishes to Zhang Shenlong such as, my wish is that you die, and, Shenlong, I want you to be my slave. They will all be forcibly plundered by Zhang Wei, including their lives. Therefore, this invincible person in the form of a cyan dragon was also jokingly called, house raiding, by Zhang Wei. It's just that this invincible form is a passive ability, focusing on, I won't offend others unless they attack me. Zhang Dashenlong cannot actively bully others just by turning on invincibility. So in Zhang Wei's view, although this invincibility is very foul, it is just a life-saving ability. Dong Dongbo. A Qigong wave hit Zhang Dashenlong's body that was hundreds of meters away. Dao Bai Bai's smile disappeared. The Cyan Divine Dragon in front of him was intact. The whole wave that hit the Cyan Divine Dragon's body was like throwing a pebble into the sea, and not a single wave stirred up. Dao Bai Bai was shocked. It's about to happen again, when the whole wave is emitted with greater power. But he was shocked to find out. All his strength is gone. The body has also changed from the state of an 18-year-old to an old man who was hundreds of years old. And, how to use Dong Dong Wave, Dao Bai Bai suddenly realized that he couldn't remember. Not just Dong Dong Bo. Other unique skills of the Caucasian Ryu, his own Gobashira flying, and other kinds of knowledge and experiences accumulated over hundreds of years. Dao Bai Bai couldn't remember it either. Not only Dao Bai Bai's skills, but also the billions of wealth that Dao Bai Bai accumulated as a killer, and the various treasures he collected, also belonged to Zhang Dashenlong. After triggering Zhang Dashenlong's invincibility and having his house confiscated, Dao Bai Bai truly had nothing but his own life. And even Dao Bai Bai's only remaining life is now in the hands of Zhang Dashenlong. Dao Bai Bai, you are such a generous and good person. Feeling that after plundering Dao Bai Bai's strength, he became stronger, Zhang Wei smiled and praised. As a reward for Dao Bai Bai's generosity, Zhang Dashenlong couldn't be stingy. He patted Dao Bai Bai on the ground with his claws and smashed Dao Bai Bai to pieces. The flesh and blood were like mud, covering the ground. What's going on with you, Shenlong? After killing Dao Bai Bai, an old voice suddenly appeared in Zhang Wei's mind. It was the god who took the initiative to contact Zhang Dashenlong. The dragon actually killed someone. This made the god's eyes almost fall to the ground in surprise. God, the environment of the earth is very good, I like it, ha ha ha. Then Zhang Wei ignored the god and turned into seven rays of bright golden light, flying in all directions. The seven dragon balls were scattered around the world and turned into stones. They need to cool down for 12 months before they can turn back into dragon balls. And Zhang Wei, who had released the dragon's transformation, naturally appeared out of thin air in the empty headquarters of the Red Ribbon Legion. 
The god who had spent his whole life in the temple, observing the earth from a high position, saw that the mysterious dragon disappeared and turned into a handsome, mature and steady young man. His eyes widened in shock again. What is going on? Is it a special ability like that child that can turn into a giant ape under special conditions? Zhang Wei took a walk around the headquarters of the Red Ribbon Legion, which was full of people, and finally found what he needed. In a munitions warehouse at the headquarters, Zhang Wei found enough chewing gum for him to chew for several years. Putting all the chewing gum into the space that comes with the Shenlong system, Zhang Wei also took away a lot of combat vehicles, humanoid mechas, and fighter jets left behind by the Red Ribbon Legion. He was interested in the original world but absolutely after something out of reach. He just cut off a column of the house, sensed it carefully, and then threw the column into the sky. Then he jumped on the column and flew quickly in the direction where he sensed the strong man's breath. Zhang Wei's next step is to take advantage of his familiarity with the plot to get the benefits of the earth first. He will continue to become stronger, become the only one in the Dragon Ball world, and defeat everyone who dares to be his enemy. Zhang Wei already knew from Dao Bai Bai, but the plot has not yet begun. The dragon in the plot has not yet been summoned by little Goku and Bulma. It is time for him to show off his talents. With a cylinder under his feet and chewing gum in his mouth, Zhang Wei flew into the wind. A blue ocean appeared in front of me. It didn't take long. Another lonely island appeared in the ocean. The island is really small. There is only one solitary house on it, which occupies most of the island. There is the residence of Turtle Immortal. In Zhang Wei's perception, Turtle Immortal should be the weakest among the current masters on Earth. Dao Bai Bai has a combat power of more than 100, and in Zhang Wei's perception, the Turtle Immortal at this moment is much weaker than Dao Bai Bai, not to mention compared to him. It is estimated that the combat effectiveness is less than 100. Of course, this refers to Kame Senen's normal combat effectiveness. In muscle form, Kame Senen's combat effectiveness when using Kame style Qigong must have exceeded 100. Compared to the Hexianren group who were busy killing people and making money, the Kamexianren looked like they were taking care of themselves and had slacked off along the way in martial arts. Turtle Immortal is currently lying on a leisure chair with a parasol over his head, looking like he is on a beach vacation. He held up an adult magazine with both hands and was reading it happily, making lewd laughter like, he he he, from time to time. Ha, huh, suddenly, the wretchedness on the old man's face disappeared and turned into solemnity. He noticed that a powerful aura was approaching him quickly, so he put down the precious adult magazine and looked up to the distant sky. There was a man stepping on a wooden pile and flying towards his island at high speed. It's that fool Dao Bai Bai. No, the smell is wrong. But with such a dramatic appearance, who will be the uninvited guest coming to his island? Under the puzzled gaze of Kame Senen, a handsome young man wearing a handsome black trench coat, chewing gum constantly in his mouth, with a handsome and mature appearance, who looked ruthless and handsome, stepped on a pillar and plunged into the air, arrived in front of him. Young man, who are you? Who are Dao Bai Bai and Lao He to you? Turtle Immortal asked warily. Once upon a time, Turtle Immortal and Crane Immortal were both disciples of Wu Tai Do's sect. Now he and He Shanran don't deal with each other, they can't stand their killer style, and they don't agree with each other. Turtle Immortal felt that Zhang Wei's aura was very strong, even more powerful than his own, who was known as the god of martial arts. He did not dare to relax when facing Zhang Wei. Hello, Turtle Immortal. Don't be nervous, I'm Zhang Wei. All my abilities came from a fair deal with Dao Bai Bai, and I have nothing to do with your enemy. Quote. Jumping off the pillar and stepping on the sand of the island, Zhang Wei greeted the Turtle Immortal with a smile on his face. Then what do you want to do when you come to my island? Turtle Immortal's face relaxed and he asked. With Zhang Wei's strength, if someone really came to trouble him, they wouldn't use such words. Zhang Wei glanced at the adult magazine that Turtle Immortal carefully placed on the small table beside him. On the cover is a hot girl posing. He is indeed an old pervert. He looked again and saw the three-star dragon ball in the plot hanging casually around Turtle Immortal's neck. Zhang Wei came to see Gui Xiangren not just for the three-star dragon ball, but because he was interested in Gui Xiangren's skills. Although this old man wearing a turtle shell is lustful and not very strong, he is a well-deserved god of martial arts. Very good at teaching disciples. 
the strongest Saiyan son Goku, and the strongest earthling Krillin, were both taught by Kame Senen. For Zhang Wei, Klin has little value in cultivating him, but Saiyan Kakarot is a potential stock. If he is well nurtured, he will benefit immensely. Zhang Wei is different from next door. The majority of people next door are Saiyans, with Frieza occasionally seen, Cell and Majin Buu even rarer. Zhang Wei is even rarer. He is a pure earthling, but he has obtained the dragon system. As long as his wish is fulfilled, he can copy all the abilities of the opponent. It was destined that for Zhang Wei, who was just a mere earthling, cultivation would be the least cost effective for him. Practice, I will never practice cultivation in this life. When someone else succeeds in cultivation, Zhang Wei can grant him a wish and make a copy of his cultivation achievements for himself. Wouldn't it be nice? Since you can make money by being comfortable, only fools will work hard to make money. Others work hard to survive. Enjoy the benefits yourself. This is the fate of traveling to the Dragon Ball world and being born to be a boss. Therefore, Zhang Wei took a fancy to Son Goku's potential and decided to accept Son Goku as his younger brother. When Son Goku's practice has achieved results, he can grant Son Goku a wish and he can copy Son Goku. Equivalent to Son Goku's talent and hard work is Zhang Wei's talent and hard work. No matter how strong Son Goku is, Zhang Wei will only be stronger than him. However, Surusen Ryu is a routine for training killers, and it is obviously not suitable for use on upright martial arts masters like Son Goku. It is better to follow the plot and use Kamezen Ryu to train Son Goku. This requires the use of Kame Senen's skills. Zhang Wei needs to copy the skills, knowledge and experience accumulated by the Turtle Immortals for hundreds of years. Kamezenren, give me the three-star dragon ball hanging around your neck, and I will make your wish come true. Zhang Wei didn't talk nonsense and went directly to the topic. While speaking, Zhang Wei transformed and instantly turned into a three-meter-tall cyan dragon man with horns on his head and a tail behind him. Humanoid Dragon Form Since Zhang Wei wants to rely on cultivating potential people to improve his strength in this way, naturally he will not count on the dragon form that requires collecting all seven dragon balls to run a business once a year. Transforming into a humanoid divine dragon is the most commonly used ability of the dragon system. In the form of a human dragon, just like the incarnation of a dragon, Zhang Wei can also grant wishes to others and obtain rewards for copying everything about the other person. Moreover, he can realize a wish every 12 hours, and he can copy everything about a person every 12 hours, ability. But compared to the divine dragon summoned by collecting all seven dragon balls, the humanoid divine dragon cannot be invincible. If someone crosses the river and burns the bridge, you have to rely on your own strength to deal with the opponent. In this way, there is a possibility of being beaten to death by a stronger guy. But even if you can't be invincible, it's not easy to kill Zhang Wei who has transformed into a humanoid dragon. The humanoid dragon, like the great ape transformation of the Saiyans, can increase the normal combat power by 10 times. And immune to superpowers, magic, destructive energy, xeno obliteration, and all other special ability attacks. It is also immune to negative buffs, which means that Kaioken can be opened up to 20 times, and Super Saiyan transformation can be superimposed without any trouble. When encountering fatal danger and unable to react in time, the humanoid dragon transformation can be passively triggered one second in advance. It can be said that as long as Zhang Wei does not take the initiative to seek death, he will be difficult to kill when he transforms into a humanoid dragon. How is this possible? It's even stronger than Piccolo Daimao, who once brought trouble to the whole world. Feeling that Zhang Wei had transformed into a humanoid dragon and increased his fighting power by ten times, Kame Senen was so frightened that his head was as bald as Krillin's and he sat down on the sand. The long-lost fear returned at this moment. After transforming into a humanoid dragon, Zhang Wei's combat power has exceeded a thousand, and he is definitely the most powerful existence on Earth. For the first time, he faced a strong man with thousands of fighting abilities. Can the turtle immortal not be afraid? Say your wish quickly, don't waste my time. Seeing Gui Xianren sitting on the ground and not speaking for a long time, Zhang Wei urged impatiently. Please disappear from my island immediately. Can this wish come true? Turtle immortal calmed down, stood up from the ground, handed the three-star dragon ball hanging around his neck to Zhang Wei, and asked carefully. It's very simple. 
Zhang Wei was a little dumbfounded and raised his hand and snapped his fingers. In an instant, he disappeared from Kamezenran's eyes. I can't sense Zhang Wei's terrifying aura that is far superior to Piccolo Daimao. The turtle immortal breathed a sigh of relief, but not long after, he showed a look of annoyance again. If I had known that making a wish to Zhang Dashenlong would really come true, why not just make a wish for a living, beautiful girl to come to the island and live with me? Thinking that he had missed the opportunity to live in the same house with a beautiful girl, Kane Senen felt so regretful that his intestines turned green, he beat his chest and continued to read adult magazines without any interest. When Zhang Wei appeared again, he was already standing on land, far away from the island of Turtle Immortal. Ding, get the turtle-style qigong. Ding, get the shocking palm of all nations. Ding, get the magic ceiling wave. Kamisenin's wish seems useless. Zhang Wei put the newly acquired Samsung Dragon Ball into the system space and muttered. Ding, master, have you dealt with Turtle Senen's wish? I knew that Tongzi would not let me suffer. Zhang Wei smiled and let the Shenlong system handle the useless wish of the Turtle Immortal. Ding, Turtle Immortal's wish has been processed. Congratulations to the owner for getting 100 fairy beans. In front of Zhang Wei's eyes, a simple little jar appeared out of thin air, and he caught it in his hand. Open the small jar and find it filled with dried beans. There are basically not many bug props left in Dragon Ball at the end of the plot. You can redeem 100 of them with any rubbish wish. Ha ha ha. Zhang Wei was so happy that he took out a fairy bean and threw it into his mouth to have a taste. The fairy beans tasted like nothing, but he was really hungry. Zhang Wei ate one fairy bean and felt so full that he didn't want to eat any more. I found a small town to stay for one night. The next day. Wait until the 12-hour cooldown period has passed. Zhang Waikai cut a piece of wood from a nearby forest and flew towards Kalanta. What on earth is he going to do? The god who has been paying close attention to Zhang Wei in the temple has been confused by Zhang Wei. God really can't understand what Zhang Wei is doing. On came Senen's island, when Zhang Wei transformed into a humanoid dragon, the god was also frightened by his over-thousand fighting power. It was not Piccolo, but it did not prevent the god's face from turning green with fright. We can only pray that the mysterious dragon, which seems to be wandering around the earth without any purpose, will never wander around on the earth. And at the top of Kalen Tower, the cat immortal, who could also spy on the earth, was extremely nervous about Zhang Wei, who was flying towards him at high speed. Combat strength exceeds a thousand. Oh my god, how could such a powerful and foul creature appear on earth? That is a more powerful and terrifying existence than Piccolo Daimao who once destroyed the world. And, he was also flying towards Kalanta, obviously coming to find him. The cat fairy's fat cat face was covered with large drops of cold sweat, like a prisoner being released from prison. In the violent whistling sound, a log fell from the sky and landed next to the towering Kalan Tower. Alarmed, an Indian father and son guarding Kalanta. Zhang Wei directly explained the purpose of his visit, which was to climb Kalan Pagoda. The Indian warrior, holding a spear in his hand, said that not everyone is qualified to climb the Kalan Tower. Zhang Wei just threw a trivial punch casually, and after proving to the Indian warriors that he was qualified to climb Kalan Tower, he quickly ran up Kalan Tower while the father and son watched in awe. Kalan Tower is like a link connecting heaven and earth. Looking from the ground to the sky, Kalen Tower can't be seen at a glance. He's coming up, what should I do? The Cat Immortal was already restless at this moment. Hello, goodbye, Cat Immortal, I am Zhang Wei, and I am here to find you. As long as you give me the super divine water and fairy beans, I will fulfill a wish for you. Zhang Wei turned over and jumped into the top of the tower, finishing the Kalen Tower easily. Facing a short, Fat white cat with a cane in front of him and looking at him nervously, he showed a kind smile. Seeing the cat immortal, Zhang Wei couldn't help but think of the big black cat his cousin raised, which he also liked very much. Not long after his cousin disappeared, Zhang Wei planned to adopt the cat he left behind, but the cat disappeared without a trace along with his cousin's property. Zhang Wei thought that this might be a clue to find his missing cousin, so he spared no effort to search for it, and finally found clues to the cat in a nearby university. As a result, the cat disappeared from people's eyes again. Like the cousin, no one saw the cat again. The clue is broken. 
Then Zhang Wei was also brought to the Dragon Ball world by the Shenlong system, and like his cousin, he became a missing person. Is this why you came to me? Phew, you scared me. The cat immortal breathed a sigh of relief when Zhang Wei stated that he was not here to cause trouble. The cat immortal rummaged around, took out a pot and a large jar, and handed them to Zhang Wei, who had transformed into a human dragon. Let me explain in advance that this pot of supernatural water is highly poisonous and cannot be drunk by ordinary people. This pot of fairy beans weighs several kilograms. You have got the things, please leave. The cat immortal bravely said. Say your wish, and this dragon will make it come true. Super divine water and fairy beans were obtained conveniently. Zhang Dashenlong came to Kalen Tower mainly for the cat immortal. If he hadn't transformed into a human dragon, the fighting power of the cat immortal would actually exceed Zhang Wei's normal fighting power. Naturally, Zhang Wei would not let harvest cat immortal go. I have no wishes for you to fulfill. The cat immortal said immediately. No, you need a combat power detector that is standard for Frieza's legion that can be used by people on earth, and the fish you want to eat most. Zhang Wei rolled his eyes, just in time to ask the cat immortal to help him one more time, to give the fat white cat some benefits, and it would not be considered a free prostitution. When the cat immortal heard this, he shed some tears in dissatisfaction. After all, he was just a fat and white cat. He followed the advice given by Zhang Dashenlong and made a wish. It's very simple. The next moment, a lot of lively fish appeared on the ground out of thin air. The cat fairy cheered, meow, and used all four claws to fly into the pile of fish. It was so exciting. Ding, get the art of foresight. Ding, get the sense of breath. Zhang Wei no longer paid attention to the cat immortal who was soaking in happiness at the moment. Instead, after finishing the transformation of the humanoid dragon, he put the Frieza Legion's combat power detector on his left eye, which the cat immortal didn't even look at. I have to say that this thing developed by Frieza's Legion looks very cool when worn on the eyes. Very practical too. Zhang Wei really wants one. Because of the wish of the cat immortal, Zhang Wei got the combat power detector in his hand. The text system inside has been changed to earth text, which is more convenient for Zhang Wei to use. Because the combat power detector is essentially copied with Zhang Wei's power, it is impossible for him to harm himself with his own power, so this combat power detector cannot be monitored by Frieza's legion. Certainly, it doesn't matter if he is really being monitored by Frieza's legion. Given the special characteristics of Zhang Shenlong, even if Frieza comes in person, it will only be Frieza who is crushed to death like a bug. Let me take a look. My fighting ability is better now. Zhang Wei read the instructions for use built into the combat power detector and pressed a button with a smile. After realizing the wish of the Cat Immortal, Zhang Wei could feel that his normal combat power now exceeded that of the Cat Immortal. Didi a series of numbers appeared on the display of the combat effectiveness detector. Cat Immortal. Combat Power 190. Near the combat power of 190, there is a data of 200 combat power. Zhang Wei. Combat Power 200. Transform into a humanoid dragon. Combat Power 2000. Didi. God. Combat Power 220. Mr. Popo. Combat Power 700. Sure enough. Mr. Popo is the first master on Earth in the early stages of the plot. Before the Saiyans attacked, he actually had a combat power of up to 700. If it were not restricted by the rules of God's attendant and could not take action, it would not be Piccolo Daimao's turn to be arrogant. Quote. Zhang Wei smiled. Piccolo Daimao and the God of Heaven were originally the same person, but were later separated as an evil part. Therefore, the combat power of Piccolo Daimao is the same as that of the god, and the combat power is 220 in the aging state. In the plot, after making a wish to the dragon and regaining youth, he only has about 300 combat power to survive. In front of Mr. Popo, who has a combat power of 700, he is just a scumbag who can move in seconds. The temple above Kalen Tower. The gods are still observing Zhang Wei, this dragon full of secrets. Mr. Popo, the divine dragon that turned into a human has become stronger again. The god revealed his findings. Lord God, that Shenlong is looking for people to fulfill his wishes. Maybe that's why he becomes stronger. Mr. Popo guessed. The god said, hum, and nodded slightly towards Mr. Popo, agreeing with his guess. In fact, 
the god had the same idea. That Shenlong became stronger too fast. Fortunately, it seems that he is not as evil as Piccolo Daimao, otherwise the world will usher in a catastrophe that far exceeds the disaster caused by Piccolo Daimao hundreds of years ago. As long as the gods think of Zhang Wei who has transformed into a humanoid divine dragon and has a combat power that exceeds a thousand, his green and wrinkled scalp will feel numb. Hundreds of years ago, just one Piccolo Daimao had to be sealed by Wu Taitu, the top master on earth at the time, risking his life and using the demonic sealing wave. If this mysterious dragon can become stronger quickly, it will also endanger the whole world. A hundred martial arts masters tied together are not enough to defeat the mysterious dragon. Lord God, the dragon is coming to find us, Mr. Popo said. However, after waiting for 12 hours, Zhang Wei was able to fulfill someone's wish again and immediately transformed into a humanoid dragon to copy the abilities of the gods and Mr. Popo. When Zhang Wei jumped to the huge temple with a space far beyond the top of Kalen Tower, he saw the God of Heaven and Mr. Popo already waiting for him. Hello, gods and Mr. Popo, I am Zhang Wei. You should understand my purpose of coming. So, tell me your wishes, and this dragon will make them come true. Quote. Zhang Wei looked like a king and opened his hands towards the gods and Mr. Popo. You know me and Mr. Popo. The god was just surprised for a moment, then looked astonished when he thought that Zhang Wei could transform into a dragon. Even the earth dragon created by the gods can know many secrets of this world. It is absolutely normal for Zhang Wei to recognize him and Mr. Popo. Zhang Wei nodded. I'll go first. Shenlong, can you make any wish come true? A cunning look flashed in the god's old eyes. As long as I don't have to kill Beerus or Zeno by any means other than granting my wish, I can make it come true. Zhang Wei looked at the god and said immediately. The god nodded slightly, this is similar to the earth dragon he created, except that the earth dragon cannot realize the wish that exceeds the ability of its creator, the god. Zhang Wei, on the other hand, cannot make a wish that would require him to kill Beerus and Zeno in other ways without fulfilling the wish. Could it be that Zhang Wei, who is not sure whether he is a human or a divine dragon in front of him, does not have different rules for realizing wishes like the dragon on earth? Where did he come from? Besides, Beerus and Zeno, who are they? At this moment, the god was lost in thought. Also, even if this dragon can fulfill a wish that is not good for me, I can refuse to fulfill it. Zhang Wei explained it in advance to avoid making everyone unhappy. I won't be ungrateful. The old green-faced god was not embarrassed at all. Although he had a plan in mind, he definitely did not intend to target Zhang Dashenlong. Say your wish, god. Zhang Wei said, Shenlong, my wish is that you protect the earth. The god looked at Zhang Wei and said loudly, It's very simple. Protecting the earth does not violate Zhang Wei's interests. Even if the gods do not express his wishes, will Zhang Wei watch the earth being destroyed without having anything to do with it? Thanks. Zhang Wei is willing to protect the earth, which makes the gods very happy. I think that with Zhang Wei protecting the earth, Things like Piccolo Daimao that harm the whole world will never happen again in the future. Ding, get a super explosive wave. Ding, get high speed movement. Ding, get the position of Earth God not activated. Mr. Popo, your wish will only come true later, please forgive me. Zhang Wei said apologetically. He, Shenlong is pretty good. Mr. Popo thought. God, Mr. Popo, would you like a piece of chewing gum? Seeing that both Tianshan and Mr. Popo declined, Zhang Wei took out a box of chewing gum marked with RR in white letters on a red background and gave himself a piece. At the same time, activate the combat effectiveness detector to check your current combat effectiveness. Didi, Zhang Wei, combat power 300, transform into humanoid dragon, combat power 3000. When Mr. Popo's wish comes true, my combat power when I transform into a humanoid dragon will surpass King Kai. Zhang Wei began to wonder where to go next after leaving the temple. King Kai has two unique moves, Kaioken and Vitality Bomb. Especially Kaioken, that is a must-learn trick for those who travel to the Dragon Ball world. Zhang Wei is naturally also very coveted Kaioken. But if he didn't have invincible strength, he wouldn't go to King Kai to get Kaioken and Vitality Bombs. Although he has watched Dragon Ball, Zhang Wei also knows that King Kai is not an evil villain who kills people at every turn, but the principle Zhang Wei has set for himself is. 
unless you collect the seven dragon balls and be summoned in the form of a dragon to fulfill your wish. Otherwise, he will never take the form of a human dragon and take the initiative to find someone who is stronger than himself to grant his wish. The main thing is to play a steady and safe way, and never put yourself in danger. Lord God, Zhang Wei's aura has become stronger again. Taking advantage of Zhang Wei's absence, Mr. Popo whispered. Well, it's incredible. Fortunately, Zhang Wei is willing to protect the earth. The god said in a very thankful tone. At noon, the god, who originally only needed to drink water, treated Zhang Wei to a meal. Zhang Wei was full of praise for Mr. Popo's cooking skills. He is indeed a model servant who has served the gods for generations. After the skill cools down, Zhang Wei immediately grants Mr. Popo's wish. I'm sorry, I don't have any wishes that I want you to fulfill for me. Mr. Popo touched the back of his head and thought for a while. In that case, Mr. Popo, just make a wish and let me go to see King Kai. Zhang Wei said happily, this saves 12 hours of time and can meet King Kai. As for other time travelers, they must go to the spiritual time room to check in, which has no attraction for Zhang Wei. He will not waste time for the spiritual time room. After Mr. Popo's wish came true. With a, swipe, sound, Zhang Wei disappeared from the eyes of the god and Mr. Popo. Ding, get the position of god servant not activated. When we meet next time, Zhang Wei will become even more powerful. The god was very sure about Mr. Popo. In the void, on a mini planet. King Kai happily drove his car and took his two pets around the world over and over again. The planet King Kai lives on is really mini, and you can travel around the world in just a few minutes by car. Suddenly, King Kai stopped the car, the two cricket-like tentacles on his head swayed, and felt a powerful aura approaching his mini planet. The next moment, a three-meter-tall cyan dragon man appeared in front of King Kai's car. First meeting, hello, King Kai, I am Zhang Wei. The cyan dragon man said politely. Didi, Zhang Wei turned on the combat effectiveness detector. King Kai, combat power 3500. Zhang Wei, combat power 910, transformed into a humanoid dragon, combat power 9100. King Kai's two pets, a monkey and a bug, are experts on earth, but they are no longer worth mentioning in Zhang Wei's eyes. Hello Zhang Wei, why do you come to my place? King Kai looked Zhang Dashenlong up and down and asked a little strangely. Although Zhang Wei transformed into a humanoid dragon and his combat power was superior to King Kai, King Kai was the god in charge of the northern galaxy after all, and Zhang Wei's current strength was not qualified to enter his eyes. To attract King Kai's attention, he must be as powerful as Universe Emperor Frieza, who has the power to harm the galaxy. With Zhang Wei's current strength, he couldn't even compete with a senior cadre in the Frieza Legion. To get along with the senior cadres of Frieza's Legion, one must at least have a combat power of over 10,000. In the eyes of King Kai, Zhang Dashenlong is also a small character worth mentioning. King Kai, do you mind entertaining me before telling me why I'm here? Zhang Wei's skills were still cooling down and he said this to King Kai. Well, let's go for a drive together. King Kai's eyes lit up, and he finally had someone else driving with him. King Kai is very happy. That's all. After 12 hours, Earth time has passed. King Kai, tell me your wish, and this dragon will make it come true for you. Zhang Wei moved his body, looked down at King Kai and said, it is not a pleasant experience to squeeze a three-meter-tall humanoid dragon into King Kai's car. What? It turns out you are, a divine dragon. King Kai looked Zhang Dashenlong up and down again and then said in surprise. After they all drove around the world for hundreds of times, King Kai realized Zhang Wei's identity. Immediately, King Kai became interested. That was the first thought. My own planet is so many. If it could be restored to its original state, wouldn't it be more enjoyable to drive around than it is now? But then he thought of the culprit that caused the planet to become mini. Lord Beerus, the god of destruction. Thinking of Baikat, King Kai immediately became frightened and never dared to think that it would be more enjoyable to drive the planet back to its original state. If you offend Lord Beerus again because of this matter, then the gain will really outweigh the loss. King Kai definitely didn't want to have him his pets, and the mini-planet completely destroyed by the unhappy Baimao in a fit of anger. Then tell me a joke. 
King Kai broke into a cold sweat and said to Zhang Dashenlong. It's easy. Zhang Dashenlong looked at King Kai, who was obviously scared, with some strangeness, and fulfilled his wish. Ding, get Kai Oken. Ding, get the vitality bullet. Ding, get the King Kai position not activated. Originally, Zhang Wei is already ready to restore the mini planet to its original state for King Kai. In the plot, even the Lord of Earth was defeated and the Dragon of Earth was able to return to his original state. For Zhang Dashenlong, it is even less important. As for whether it will offend Bai Mao. Bai Mao is still lazily sleeping in his home, and has outsourced his work to a certain universe real estate developer. Bai Mao will never wake up before dreaming about the Super Saiyan God. When Bai Mao wakes up from dreaming about the Super Saiyan God, with Zhang Shenlong's upgrade speed, he still needs to worry about the hammer like Bai Mao. If you don't talk about martial ethics anymore, it is not impossible to find someone at random and ask him to make a wish to Zhang Dashenlong that Bai Mao will die immediately. The power of the dragon system must not be underestimated. Refer to Granola's wish to become the number one in the universe by relying on her Krypton life. If someone is willing to pay the price of his own life and not be able to be resurrected in any way after death, and comes to Zhang Wei to make a wish, he can really exchange Beerus's limit for one. Zhang Wei believes that when there is a real need in this regard, such a desperate guy can't be found. But he really didn't expect it. King Kai just made a wish to tell a bad joke. That's it. Zhang Wei held back his smile, as it would be rude to King Kai to laugh at this time. Ha ha ha. King Kai burst out laughing. Ha ha ha. Zhang Dashenlong couldn't bear it anymore and took the opportunity to laugh loudly. Seeing Zhang Wei laughing too, King Kai thought he was also laughing because of the cold joke, and mistakenly thought Zhang Wei was a confidant. He wanted to teach Zhang Wei his two special skills, but Zhang Wei naturally refused. Because after realizing King Kai's wish, Zhang Wei has obtained the two unique skills of Kaioken and Vitality Bomb. What a waste of time to learn. Didi, Zhang Wei, Combat Power 3750, transformed into a humanoid dragon. Boom, the combat effectiveness detector is off the charts. Only then did Zhang Wei know that the upper limit of this combat power detector was only more than 20,000 combat power, and it was obviously an old model of Frieza's Legion. It turns out your glasses can explode. King Kai asked curiously. I just noticed now that your glasses are very similar to those used by Frieza's group. It's the equipment of Frieza's Legion. I just picked it up. Zhang Wei took off the remains of the combat effectiveness detector, threw it away and said casually. Ha ha ha. King Kai laughed so hard that he couldn't stand up straight again, thinking that Zhang Wei was telling a cold joke again. Zhang Wei, I can feel that you have become stronger again, several times stronger than when you first came here. You are really a strange dragon. After laughing enough, King Kai said seriously, although you have incredible ways to improve your strength, I still recommend that you learn my Kaioken and Vitality Bombs. You're welcome, I will definitely teach you well, whose name we hit it off immediately. King Kai, I am deeply grateful for your kindness. However, it is not that I am unwilling to learn your Kaioken and Vitality Bombs, but that I have already learned them. Seeing King Kai's expression of disbelief, Zhang Wei immediately opened 20 times Kaioken. The three-meter-tall cyan dragon man instantly burst out with blood-red energy that enveloped his whole body. Zhang Wei, combat power 3750, transformed into humanoid dragon, combat power 37,500, 20 times Kaioken, combat power 750,000. Awesome, you actually learned my Kaioken. King Kai was shocked when he felt the powerful momentum that Zhang Wei unleashed when he opened Kaioken 20 times. Because now Zhang Wei's explosive fighting power has obviously surpassed that of the Universe Emperor real estate developer Frieza, who even King Kai has a headache. Of course, it only exceeds Frieza's apparent strength. I understand everything. Zhang Shenlong's current strength is simply not enough in front of Frieza who is going all out. Unless, not talking about martial ethics. Find a person who doesn't care about his life and make a wish to Chang Shenren that one for one is the limit, and that Frieza will die immediately. What shocked King Kai even more was that when Zhang Wei opened Kaioken 20 times, he still looked at ease, as if his body could not feel the load caused by Kaioken. 
Of course King Kai didn't know that Zhang Wei had transformed into a humanoid dragon, but he was immune to negative buffs. This means that with 20x Kaioken, after transforming into a humanoid dragon, Zhang Wei can drive it as long as he wants. Twelve hours later, in King Kai's reluctant eyes, Zhang Wei disappeared with a whoosh and left again relying on King Kai's wish to him. Zhang Wei's next stop, Namek, an alien planet with dense vegetation and patches of strange and strange plants. This is also the hometown of Tenjin and Piccolo Daimao. A large group of greenskins live in the form of villages on this planet that is far larger than the Earth. With a swipe sound, a cyan dragon man with a completely different appearance from the Namekians, like a wild monster, appeared in front of the bloated and old Namekian elder who was more than 10 meters tall. I saw that cyan dragon man, with blood red energy bursting out from all over his body. His strength was so terrifying that it made people feel desperate as if they were falling into an abyss. But as the guardian of the great elder and the strongest combat type Namekian, Nauru bravely pounced on the sudden appearance of the uninvited guest without any fear, and started fighting with all his strength. Behind Nelu is the great elder who is extremely respected by the Namek people. Even though he knew he was outmatched, he still had to die in front of the great elder. Nelu, step back, the one coming is not an enemy. The great elder's old voice said quickly. But it's too late. Zhang Dashenlong had just appeared, and before he had time to take stock of his surroundings, he was attacked aggressively, and of course he would not restrain himself. He punched the green skin that rushed towards him, knocking the green skin that was far weaker than himself into the stone wall of the house and sunk into it. The wall cracked, and Nelu sank into the wall. A large mouthful of green blood spurted out from his mouth. He had been beaten to the point of losing his fighting ability and was dying. Ah this, sorry, respected elder, I used too much force. After knocking down Nilu with one punch, Zhang Shenlong could clearly see the surrounding environment, and then sincerely apologized to the bloated Namek elder not far away, who was more than 10 meters tall. Dear guest, I can feel that you have no ill intentions towards us. It was Nelu who was reckless. It is not your fault. The great elder's old voice spoke very understandingly. As far as the strength Zhang Dashenlong showed, it was impossible for the elder not to understand it. What's more, it was Nelu who made the first move. Looking at Nelu who was trapped in the wall and unable to move, he found that he was still alive. The great elder breathed a sigh of relief and was about to call for the rare healing Namekian den to come over and treat Nelu. Great elder, please allow me to apologize for Mr. Nelu. While speaking, Zhang Wei walked up to Nelu who was still vomiting blood, took out a simple jar from the system space, poured out a fairy bean and fed it to Nelu. Now that Zhang Wei had obtained several garbage wishes that were of no use to him, he gave them all to the dragon system and replaced them with fairy beans. Another thing I got from the cat immortal was a large jar of fairy beans weighing several kilograms. Zhang Wei's fairy beans are simply too much to use up. I'm sorry, I was reckless, please forgive me. Nilu ate the fairy beans and was instantly resurrected with full blood. He apologized to Zhang Wei from the bottom of his heart. I accept your apology, Zhang Wei said generously. The great elder had a great impression of Zhang Wei because of his actions in rescuing Nilu. Great elder, I am Zhang Wei. You may also be able to feel that my current appearance is similar to that of your Namekian dragon Belanga. Because I am also a dragon, and I came to Namek to fulfill a wish for you, Nelu, and Den. Quote. Zhang Wei told his purpose. Zhang Wei would definitely be greedy for the Great Elder's ability to develop people's potential. But unlike his counterparts next door, what Zhang Wei coveted was the Great Elder's ability to develop people's potential. The Great Elder has no interest in developing his own potential. Zhang Wei had no intention of practicing. What to do to develop potential? Nelu is the strongest fighting Namekian. Granting his wish can improve Zhang Wei's normal combat effectiveness. Dend is actually the most useless. His healing ability is of no use to Zhang Wei. After all, Zhang Wei can be said to have endless fairy beans. But here we are, copying the ability of Dend, the future earth god in the plot, it is a convenient thing. And during the time of little Goku, was there Dend? Namekians are a mortal species and can live hundreds or thousands of years. Isn't it strange that the childhood period lasts for tens to hundreds of years? As for Sun's nanny, he does grow very fast, but he is not a Namekian who reproduces normally. 
he is not even a normal Namekian, so his abnormal growth rate is understandable. Are you a dragon? You look so strange. Both the Great Elder and Nelu had incredibly green faces, unable to connect the tiny Zhang Da Shenlong with the gigantic Palanga. Another twelve hours passed. Your Excellency Zhang Wei, please restore the Great Elder's youth. We Namekians cannot live without the Great Elder. Nilu glanced at the old elder who was about to end his lifespan, and immediately said loudly. It's very simple. The old elder who was about to die regained his youth in this way and became a green-skinned young man who is not bloated or wrinkled and is more than 10 meters tall. Ding, get the Qigong wave. Ding, get a telepathic call. Ding, get the fighting Namek bloodline not activated. Nelu, birth, aging, sickness and death are natural laws, so why do you bother? The great elder blamed Nelu, but judging from the expression of the great elder, he was very happy to be able to regain his youth. The next few days, Zhang Wei fulfilled the wish of the great elder and Den. Ding, get the potential power and draw it out. Ding, get telepathy. Ding, get the Namekian great elder bloodline not activated. Ding, get the healing technique. Ding, get the ability to create the dragon balls. Ding, get the Namekian dragon bloodline not activated. The great elder's wish is that he has a premonition that the Namekians will encounter a crisis of genocide in the future, and hopes that Zhang Shenlong can help the Namekians survive the crisis. After granting Nilu's wish, Zhang Wei's normal combat effectiveness has increased many times compared to before. By how much, the combat effectiveness detector has exploded. Naturally, detailed data cannot be given. In short, he feels very strong and feels that he has to deal with it. In the plot, Frieza, who came to Namek to look for the Dragon Balls, realized this wish with just a piece of cake. If Zhang Wei hadn't talked about martial ethics, he would have just reminded the Elder to find a Namekian who was not afraid of death and make a wish to him to eliminate future hidden dangers. Frieza is already dead. Dend actually didn't have any wishes, but after learning from Nilu that Zhang Wei had good things like fairy beans that could revive people with full blood, he embarrassedly made a wish for ten fairy beans. After his wish came true, he looked embarrassed as if he had taken advantage of Zhang Dashenlong. Little did I know, for Zhang Dashenlong, he could have as many fairy beans as he wanted. Chapter 11 Next stop, you can go to Staradrat to get teleportation. Also relying on the Namekians, wish, Zhang Wei appeared on the planet Adrat. The Adratites living on this planet are not very powerful, but they have developed a variety of magical abilities. Teleportation is just one of them. After Zhang Wei arrived on the planet Adrat, he discovered that the people of Adrat were indeed not very strong, with an average combat power of only a few hundred. A group of Frieza Legion soldiers with a combat power of 1,000 could bloodbath the entire planet. But compared to the people on Earth, the Adratites are as strong as Godzilla in front of him in his childhood. Except for a very small number of martial artists on Earth, the vast majority of the population has a fighting strength of only five for strong men and only four for women. Just throw a single Adrat to the Earth, and the whole world will be wiped out with blood. After realizing several wishes for the people of Adrat, and obtaining teleportation and other special abilities that Zhang Wei admired, all the goals Zhang Wei set at the beginning of his time travel have been achieved. Next, when he started to think about the plot again and where to go next to get greater benefits, Zhang Wei suddenly realized. He completely forgot about the story of little Goku and Bulma meeting. I don't know if this plot happened or not. Zhang Wei didn't want to miss it. If you don't participate in the plot and travel to the Dragon Ball world, wouldn't it be a waste of time? Sensing the breath of the Earth God. Zhang Wei activated teleportation and appeared in front of the God and Mr. Popo instantly. What a terrifying power. Zhang Wei, I haven't seen you for a few days, but you are so powerful. The God's face was filled with shock, and his face turned green. Mr. Popo was also horrified and his face turned dark. What shocked them even more was that the Zhang Wei who appeared in front of them was a handsome, mature and steady human youth, not the three-meter-tall cyan dragon man last time. You know, Zhang Wei in human form only has normal combat power and is his weakest form. But now even the weakest human form is far more powerful than the cyan dragon form a few days ago. God, Mr. Popo, hello, we meet again. Zhang Wei smiled and said hello, and then said, I don't know how strong I am now. I have no specific reference. 
I just feel that I am countless times stronger than before. After exchanging pleasantries with Tianshan and Mr. Popo, Zhang Wei looked outside the temple and had a panoramic view of the entire Earth's surface. Soon he found Baozi Mountain where little Goku lived. He sensed the strongest aura from Baozi Mountain and immediately started teleporting to Baozi Mountain. Little Goku hasn't left Baozi Mountain yet. As the fighting nation of the universe, the Saiyans have a combat power of 10 when they first appear. If placed in the ecological environment of Baozi Mountain, they are the top of the food chain. You must know that with the same combat power of 10, Saiyans are far stronger than Earthlings. Little Goku can withstand Bulma's pistol bullets physically. The power of the pistol can only hurt little Goku, not to mention kill little Goku. It can't even make little Goku injured and bleed. Faced with the slight charge from the blonde Lan Chi, Kame Senen could only dodge or catch the bullet with his bare hands, but he just didn't dare to let the bullet hit him. Bullets can hurt Kame Senen, who is far more powerful than little Goku. It can only be said that the Saiyan body is too foul, no wonder it is coveted by Zamasu. At this moment, little Goku was moving around among the dense woods, chasing his lunch today. When we are about to solve the problem of what to eat for lunch today. Whoosh, a tall figure suddenly appeared, and little Goku crashed into it like a speeding car. It seems like something hit me. Zhang Weidao had just arrived at Baozi Mountain. His eyes fell on a little boy not far ahead who was rolling on the ground with a silly crab head and a monkey tail trailing behind his butt. At this moment, little Goku was rolling on the ground and shouting, It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. At this moment, he saw a strange man wearing black clothes and holding a small smoking stick in his mouth appeared in front of him. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Seeing little Goku looking at him, Zhang Wei immediately said, Little Goku was startled and immediately got up from the ground. Regardless of his still aching body, he pulled out a small stick from his back and pointed it at Zhang Wei, as if he was about to attack. Are you a monster? Otherwise, why would you spit out a big bubble from your mouth? Little Goku asked warily. If Zhang Wei answers that he is a monster, little Goku will attack without hesitation. Big bubbles coming out of your mouth. Zhang Wei was stunned for a moment before he understood and showed a very friendly smile. Don't be nervous, I'm not a monster, this is chewing gum. Chewing gum can blow bubbles and is a kind of snack. Seeing that Zhang Wei stopped spitting bubbles and said that he was not a monster, little Goku relaxed his guard and asked curiously, who are you? Why do you want to eat this, chewing gum? Could it be that, is this chewing gum delicious? I am Zhang Wei, from outside Baozi Mountain. Looking at the little Goku staring at him with greedy mouth, Zhang Wei had a bold idea, wouldn't you know if the chewing gum is delicious or not after you try it? Hello, I am Sun Goku, and I live in Baozi Mountain with my grandfather. However, my grandfather died in an accident. Little Goku put the stick back on his back and said politely. Little Goku has lived in Baozi Mountain with his grandfather Sun Wufen since he was a child. He has never seen other people. Zhang Wei is the only human being he has ever seen in his life. Except for his grandfather. He also treats him to chewing gum, a delicious food he has never seen before. He happily took a piece of chewing gum with the wrapper off from Zhang Wei's hand, stuffed it into his mouth, and started chewing like Zhang Wei. So sweet and delicious. While chewing, little Goku wanted to swallow the gum, but Zhang Wei stopped him. You can only chew gum, not swallow it. Zhang Wei spit out the sugar residue and said to little Goku who was confused. This gum doesn't taste good. Little Goku spits out the sugar residue on the ground. Food that cannot be eaten is not good food for little Goku. You don't like chewing gum. Then you must like this. Zhang Wei took out a large piece of barbecue that was placed in the system space and was carefully cooked by a famous chef, and handed it to little Goku, whose eyes lit up when he smelled the aroma of the food. Ba, ba, ba. This is better than chewing gum. Zhang Wei, do you have any more? Little Goku finished the large piece of barbecue in just a few mouthfuls, licking the oil from his hands, still unfinished. Call me big brother. Zhang Wei simply took out a pile of barbecued meats, placed them in front of little Goku, and let him eat all he could at one go. He invited little Goku to eat a lot of barbecue, and Zhang Wei became familiar with him. Brother, why do you, like grandpa, look different from me? I have a tail, but you don't. Little Goku asked as he took Zhang Wei home after eating. Because you are a Saiyan monkey. 
Zhang Wei glanced at little Goku's flexible tail and said. What say in monkey? Little Goku said with confusion on his face. Zhang Wei said a few more words freely and ended the topic. Following little Goku talking and laughing along a long stretch of rugged mountain road, Zhang Wei came to a small house in ancient Chinese style. Little Goku pushed open the ajar wooden door and invited Zhang Wei in as a guest. When Zhang Wei entered the small house, the first thing he noticed was the shining golden four-star dragon ball enshrined in the middle. Zhang Wei himself is a divine dragon, and unlike his counterparts next door, he has no interest in the dragon balls that can summon the Earth's divine dragons when collected together. Whether it is little Goku or the upcoming Balma, they are more attractive to Zhang Wei than dragon balls. Brother, this is the relic left by my grandfather to me. Little Goku first bowed to the four-star dragon ball, and then said to Zhang Wei. Zhang Wei respected the dead and bowed to the four-star dragon ball, and then said to little Goku, Goku, I think you are also good at martial arts. How about I, the eldest brother, replace your grandfather and train you? Okay. When little Goku heard this, he immediately said excitedly. Since his grandfather passed away, little Goku has lost the direction of his cultivation and has become a wild man. If there is a master who can replace grandpa, continue to train him. Little Goku couldn't ask for more. As for whether Zhang Wei is a master, little Goku's body is still aching. Little Goku is just innocent, not stupid, and not ungrateful. The next few days, Zhang Wei followed the method of Kamezen Ryu and began to train little Goku step by step. Lay the foundation first, then develop the super magic water and develop the potential. Zhang Wei would not make the mistake of overthrowing a young man's talent. After training little Goku every day, Zhang Wei would use the excuse of sparring to beat little Goku violently. Anyway, Zhang Wei has achieved the freedom of fairy beans. As long as he is not beaten to death on the spot, he can do anything else. Little Goku's talent in martial arts was something that even Zamasu coveted. He learned the Kamezen Ryu's signature secret skill after just one demonstration from Zhang Wei. Turtle Style Qigong As for the other secret skills of Kamezen Ryu, as long as Little Goku can learn them, Zhang Wei is also open to teaching them. Let me see your fighting ability. When Little Goku was exercising while carrying a huge stone much larger than him, Zhang Wei, bored by the side, took out the latest combat power detector developed by Dr. Kikono of Frieza's Legion and put it on himself on the left eye. The upper limit of this combat power detector is 200,000 combat power, which is 10 times higher than the old model. Didi, Zhang Wei, combat strength 44,000. Sun Goku, combat power 25. Unknown, combat power 4. This signal of combat strength 4 is approaching Baozi Mountain. It seems that Bulma is coming. Zhang Wei said happily, Goku, we have guests here, follow me. Brother, I want to continue exercising. If you don't come, there won't be a big meal today. Brother, wait for me. In the past few days, I have been eating the most delicious meal in the world. I got it by making a wish to Zhang Da Shenlong. As the Saiyan's big stomach king, little Goku also has something in his mouth. If he has the choice, he can only fill it if he doesn't want to eat. The stomach is full and there is no more delicious food. On the mountain path, a young girl with blue hair was driving a car into the area of Bowsy Mountain. That's great. I didn't expect there to be two dragon balls in this mountain. Bulma's eyes turned into crescents as she drove the car. In order to find her Prince Charming, which is a funny reason for most people, Bulma took the dragon ball radar she invented and embarked on a journey to find the seven dragon balls. Now, Bulma has obtained two Dragon Balls. A two-star Dragon Ball was sitting in Bulma's warehouse gathering dust. Another five-star Dragon Ball was found in a valley. Plus the two Dragon Balls that are about to be obtained. Think about it, your wish is about to come true. Bulma couldn't help but smile like a serious nymphomaniac after her wish came true. Bang! Bulma, who was so imaginative, didn't pay attention, and the car collided violently, turning it into scrap metal on the spot. Fortunately, Bulma was safe. Zhang Wei stared at the smashed car in front of him, with the corner of his mouth twitching. He was standing on the road, but to his surprise, Bulma drove his car and hit him at high speed without even stepping on the brakes. Really, be careful with female drivers. Fortunately, it was me who hit me. If it had been someone else, 
he would have taken off from the same spot. Are you, are you a monster? When Bulma came back to her senses, she realized that she had hit someone with her car, and the person who was hit was fine. Her car was turned into a pile of black smoke, and she screamed with a ghostly expression on her face. I can still scream, so it seems I'm fine. Zhang Wei walked to the scrap metal, opened the car door, and carefully pulled Bulma out. Monster, don't hurt. Hello, handsome guy. First time meeting you. I'm Bulma. I'm 16 years old. My family is the richest man in the world. What's your name? The moment Bulma was pulled out of the scrap metal, she was still very scared. If a car hits her, it will turn into scrap metal. Can she be a normal person? It must be a monster disguised as a human. But when I saw the young man wearing a black trench coat, who looked ruthless, handsome and mature, his eyes immediately turned red. Zhang Wei's appearance is really to Miss Bulma's liking. It's the kind of appearance that makes a woman look good and feel a safe harbor at the same time. Bulma's nymphomaniac immediately got out of control. I'm Zhang Wei, hello. Miss, please respect yourself. Zhang Wei gently pushed Bulma aside, who was about to pounce on him and licked her. He thought silently. It seemed that he had to teach Bulma some rules so as not to embarrass him in the future. That's right. Zhang Wei already had the idea of letting the prince become Super Saiyan Green without transforming and letting Trunks go to hell. Because, he can never return to his original world. Even as a divine dragon, Zhang Wei could not realize his wish to return to his original world. Since he can't go back, he has to consider how to continue living in the Dragon Ball world. Zhang Whitey has a family. Only when you have a wife can you have a home. And Bulma is the wife Zhang Wei likes. She is beautiful, rich, and a talented girl. Why does Shenlong have to be single? Brother, is he the guest you mentioned? He looks so strange, very different from you, Grandpa, and me. After Zhang Wei initially achieved the results of educating Bulma, the belatedly arrived little Goku looked up and down, and next to Zhang Wei's Bulma in a cute manner, the curious baby said. She is Bulma. The reason why she looks different from us is because she is a woman. Zhang Wei smiled and taught little Goku common sense. Oh, little Goku responded with a vague understanding. The kid with the tail. Bulma was also surprised when she saw little Goku appear. Hello Bulma, I am son Goku, my eldest brother's younger brother. Little Goku said politely. When son Wufin was still alive, he often taught little Goku to be polite to women. Son Goku, you turn out to be Mr. Zhang Wei's younger brother. Bulma, who misunderstood, immediately looked at little Goku with new eyes and fell in love with him. He is the younger brother of the elder brother, not the younger brother of the elder brother. Little Goku said naively. Just like that, little Goku and Bulma started chatting. Bulma, what is your purpose in coming to Bowsy Mountain? This is a barren mountain, far away from the town, and very inaccessible. Don't tell me that you are here for an outing. Zhang Wei spit out the sugar residue and asked deliberately. Brother, to be honest, I came to Baozi Mountain from Exidu to find the legendary Dragon Ball so that I could realize one of my wishes. However, after meeting Big Brother, my wish has come true and I no longer need to collect Dragon Balls. Brother, and Goku, I'll invite you to my home in Exidu, okay? Bulma changed her name to Zhang Wei in a flattering manner. No, we can't give up collecting Dragon Balls. Zhang Wei shook his head and said. Brother is right there is no reason to give up halfway. Bulma took out a disc-shaped instrument from her pocket, handed it to Zhang Feng, and said like a treasure, this is the Dragon Ball radar I made. It can detect the locations of Dragon Balls around the world. As long as there is this Dragon Ball radar, Big Brother can quickly collect the seven Dragon Balls and summon the dragon. It's enough to collect seven Dragon Balls. There is no need to summon the dragon. Zhang Wei has no wishes and needs the Earth Dragon to realize them. He just wants to have fun while competing viciously with his peers. Get rid of the business stealing peers from the source. Take the seven dragon balls and the plot into your own hands, so that in order to realize your wish in the future, you can only look for the seven dragon balls dropped by Zhang Wei. Jia Jia Jia. Well, Bulma looked confused. Who collects dragon balls not to summon the dragon and fulfill their wishes? The next moment Bulma realized it. Brother Zhang Wei is indeed unique. There are two Dragon Balls sent to the door by Bulma, a Dragon Ball left by little Grandpa Goku, and a Dragon Ball Zhang Wei got from Kame Senen. 
Zhang Wei already has four Dragon Balls in his hand. I pressed the Dragon Ball radar and found that in addition to the signals of the four Dragon Balls I already had, there were only signals from two Dragon Balls. There is also a Dragon Ball with no signal display. This Dragon Ball with no signal must have fallen into the hands of Chowder Rice and was blocked by him. Thinking of this, Zhang Wei felt that the Chowder Rice was not without merit, and it seemed necessary to fulfill a wish for the Chowder Rice. After waiting for Bulma, the three of them got into a special travel RV brought out by Zhang Wei, left Baozi Mountain, and embarked on a journey to collect Dragon Balls. Although there were two more companions, Bulma was still driving. Little Goku knows nothing about driving. Zhang Wei didn't have the subjective initiative to do it himself when someone was at his disposal. Bulma had to work harder if she could. During the trip, Zhang Wei ordered Bulma to modify the combat effectiveness detector and increase the detection limit of the combat effectiveness detector. Zhang Wei believed that with Bulma's scientific research ability, this was just a trivial matter that could be done with hands. The development of things is indeed the same. A few days later, Bulma handed a modified combat power detector to Zhang Wei, and then started busy with the second thing Zhang Wei asked her. Build a high-tech gravity suit for little Goku. Under Zhang Wei's careful training, little Goku's combat effectiveness can be improved much faster than in the plot. According to the normal level of Saiyans, even the useless Raditz can have a combat power of 1500 without training. And because of Raditz's urinary nature, he would only pick up the weak ones when fighting. The prince and Nappa would be responsible for solving the tough problems. On the contrary, it is Son Goku who has experienced hard and fierce battles all the way on the earth, struggled on the verge of death many times, and has received super divine water, guidance from famous teachers, and fairy beans, all kinds of cheats, and he is not afraid of his life even if he practices. As a result, when Raditz came to earth, Son Goku didn't even have 500 combat power. That's it simply unreasonable. Now, Bulma was busy preparing dinner in the RV, and Zhang Wei was exercising little Goku again. After little Goku wore a high-tech gravity suit and kept fighting Zhang Wei while knocking on fairy beans. Didi, Zhang Wei, combat power 44,000, transformed into a humanoid dragon, combat power 440,000, 20 times Kaioken, combat power 8.8 .8 million. Sun Goku, combat power 32. Bulma. Combat Power 4. Zhang Wei admitted that when he was on Namek, because he realized Nelu's wish, his strength increased by leaps and bounds, and at the same time, he actually had the illusion that he could deal with the king. It turns out that my combat power was open 20 times Kaioken, and it didn't even break 10 million. It's expanded, so, it is very necessary to have a tool that can digitize strength. Brother, Goku, the food is ready, come and eat. Bulma's voice came from the RV not far away, and Zhang Wei ended today's training of Little Goku. Little Goku cheered. After practicing, eating is the second most important thing in his life. When Zhang Wei walked into the RV, he smelled the aroma of dishes that only the top chefs could make. Bulma realized that, if you want to capture a man's heart, you have to capture his stomach. However, as the eldest daughter of the world's richest family, her hobby is scientific research and she has no achievements in cooking. It happened that Zhang Wei took a fancy to Bulma's genius brain and asked her what wish she wanted to realize. After getting along with him for a few days, Bulma already understood Zhang Dashenlong's rules. Instead of showing off his cleverness, Bulma made a wish to have top-notch cooking skills. If Bulma just wanted top-notch cooking knowledge and learn it by herself, Zhang Wei would give it to her on the spot and it has the best cooking knowledge in the universe. But directly possessing top-notch cooking skills. This is a direct skill. It's no different from making a wish to Shenlong and getting Kaioken, energy bombs, and teleportation. Which skill in the plot can be obtained by making a wish to the dragon? But Zhang Wei can give it. Still referring to Granola becoming the number one in the universe by making a wish. Bulma only needs to pay a certain price to Zhang Wei. Not to mention cooking skills, Zhang Wei can also give it to Bulma immediately. The price is that Bulma only has one day left to live and cannot be resurrected in any way after death. The price of cooking skills is not as terrible as the divine control skills such as Zizi Gong, but Zhang Wei is not willing to pay even a small price for the woman he likes. 
Just let yourself copy the world's best cooking skills first, and then give it to Bulma, so there is no need to pay the price. All the skills Zhang Wei masters can be realized by making a wish without paying any price. The meals prepared by Bulma were very sumptuous, and the portions were very generous. After all, in addition to Zhang Wei, there is also a big stomach king and little Goku. The food portions are not larger than the average person's appetite, and they are not small enough for Goku to eat. Bulma was very happy to see Zhang Wei showing satisfaction with the food he cooked. A few days later, the RV drove to a small village with a very depressing atmosphere. It was obvious that something bad was happening. Before driving to the village, Zhang Wei and the other three also met the old turtle that the turtle immortal had lost and that the blonde Lan Chi had mentioned as a spare food. Zhang Wei casually threw it back to the mini island where Turtle Immortal lived. Brother, look, the Dragon Ball radar shows that there is a Dragon Ball in this small village. Bulma looked at the Dragon Ball radar and asked Zhang Wei for credit. It seems that this is the village where Wulong found a group of aunts for himself. Zhang Wei looked at the entrance of the small village and thought interestingly. After finding the holder of the six-star Dragon Ball and negotiating terms with an old woman, Zhang Wei decided to save Oolong. Wrong. The job of rescuing the young ant who was kidnapped by Oolong was left to little Goku, who got excited because he heard that a powerful monster was causing trouble. Not long after little Goku went out with a face full of excitement, he came back with a face full of disappointment, dragging a dejected little pig that looked weak at first sight. Today's little Goku, after being trained by Zhang Wei, is much stronger than the little Goku in the plot, and he subdued Oolong in one encounter. Oolong didn't even have the chance to use the transformation technique to struggle in vain. Brother, Oolong is not as strong as the villagers said. He is actually very weak. I thought I could fight with a master, but I was happy in vain. Little Goku threw the Oolong in front of Zhang Wei and said disappointedly. Don't worry. There are many masters in this world who will give you a good time. Zhang Wei withdrew his gaze from the trembling Oolong and smiled at little Goku. Didi, Sun Goku, Combat Power 40. Oolong, Combat Power 2. Oolong is a pure weakling. His only skill is transformation, but it is an incomplete version. He can only transform for five minutes. Zhang Wei took one look at Oolong and lost interest. Big Brother still understands me. Little Goku immediately beamed, and the depression in his heart disappeared as quickly as it came. Little Goku, with Saiyan blood in his blood, is eager to fight against masters. Note that you are fighting against masters, not being ravaged by masters unilaterally. Being ravaged by one side, no matter how belligerent the Saiyans are, they will never feel happy. For little Goku, the masters naturally do not include his dear eldest brother Zhang Wei. At this time, the villagers who watched Oolong gradually became excited. What? This little pig is the powerful monster Oolong? Are you mistaken? I see, we were all frightened by this mistake. Speak quickly. What did you do to our daughter? If you don't tell the truth, I'll make you into a roasted suckling pig. Oolong shivered even more. Don't be impulsive. I said, your daughters are still alive and not harmed. On the contrary, they are still living happily. I will take you to find them right now. Under the guidance of Oolong, the villagers rescued a group of little girls who had lived a pampered life for a while. The old woman followed the agreement and handed the six-star dragon ball to Zhang Wei. After getting the six-star dragon ball, Zhang Wei didn't take a second look at Oolong and was about to tell Bulma to drive away from the small village. Brother, I think we need a driver. Bulma looked at Oolong, who had been forgiven by the villagers and was walking towards the entrance of the small village after being released, her eyes lit up and she said quickly. No matter how useless this little pig looks, he can at least do the job of driving, right? Bulma thought, with Oolong sitting in the driver's seat of the RV instead of her, wouldn't she have more time to spend time with her true love, brother Zhang Wei? That Oolong, please come here. Bulma wants you to drive the RV instead of her. Zhang Wei nodded slightly towards Bulma, and then headed towards Oolong Road who had reached the entrance of the small village. When Oolong heard this, he immediately turned into a rocket after a burst of white smoke, and fled quickly while spitting flames. Seeing that Oolong didn't know what to do, Zhang Wei just raised his finger and pointed it in the direction of the entrance of the small village. At this time, Oolong could no longer be seen. Brother, it seems our driver will not come back. 
Bulma said regretfully. No, he will come back. Zhang Wei smiled and said confidently. Dong Dongbo. Ha ha ha, only an idiot would be your driver. I'm free, isn't it nice? A smug face appeared on a rocket with its butt on fire and flying extremely fast. Suddenly, a beam of Qigong wave, at a speed that Oolong could barely see, narrowly missed him as a rocket and shot forward, causing a violent explosion. Oolong was still confused, but more Qigong waves flew past him one after another. Terrifying explosions occurred one after another ahead. Oolong immediately made a big turn and flew back as fast as possible. The slender Qigong wave that could blow up Oolong into pieces with just one move disappeared. Brother, I was wrong, I don't dare to run away anymore. The rocket flew in front of Zhang Wei, and after another burst of white smoke, it turned back into an inauspicious dragon. As soon as it landed on the ground, it knelt down in front of Zhang Wei and begged. Get in the car and take us away. Bulma will tell you where to go next. Zhang Wei blew his fingers and said. Well done, big brother. Oolong breathed a sigh of relief and quickly ran to the driver's seat of the RV and sat in it. Since Oolong, Bulma has been freed from the driver's seat. She either goes to accompany Zhang Wei, or takes a beauty sleep, or happily applies a facial mask to herself to maintain her beautiful appearance. So that brother Zhang Wei can look good every day. At this time, the Dragon Ball radar only has the signal of one seven-star Dragon Ball. Zhang Wei glanced at little Goku who was still practicing in the RV and showed an inexplicable smile. Goku, your wife is online. The location of the seven-star Dragon Ball is the residence of Ox King in Flame Mountain. Ox King's daughter Chi-Chi is Goku's wife. Zhang Wei is not interested in Chi-Chi, who raised Nobifen. Little Goku is now his little brother, so naturally he will not let Goku transform into Super Saiyan Green like Vegeta. Oolong originally heard that he was going to Ox King's territory, but he was frightened. Think of Zhang Wei. I can only resign myself to fate and drive to the Flame Mountain. Seeing Oolong's scared look, little Goku was eager to try out his future father-in-law, with excitement on his face. To go to the Flame Mountain, you have to pass through a sea of sand. Brother, I once heard someone say that there are thieves in this sea of sand who specialize in robbing travelers. Wulong held the steering wheel and raised his lips, but did not show any fear. Just a thief in the sea of sand. Is there Ox King and Boss Chang scary? We've arrived at the Tea God's territory. Zhang Wei smiled slightly and immediately thought of the famous scene in the plot when the Tea God and the Cultivator were fighting. In Zhang Wei's opinion, the God of Tea is not as valuable as his little pet pool. At any rate, Zhang Wei was able to create a complete version of the transformation technique from Pool. What does the god of tea have? Wolf Fang Wind Fist. Like Krillin, he has no cultivation value. Even the tea god is not as good as Klin. Smoke and dust billowed, and the RV drove into the sea of sand for some time. A blue kitten hiding in the sea of sand, holding a binoculars, spotted the RV approaching. A big deal is coming. Pool happily put away his telescope and floated along the passage under the sand sea. Master Yamcha, get ready, a big fat sheep is coming to your door. Pool yelled excitedly. Now, Yamcha was eating a dry pancake and drinking a glass of water to satisfy his hunger. When I heard the news from my good friend Pool, I immediately beamed. It's great. Finally, a big deal has come to our door again, and we can improve our lives, Pool. Yamcha simply threw away the unpalatable dry biscuits and told Pool to prepare the tools for him to grab, to make a living, and he was going out to do something big. Didi, Zhang Wei, Combat Strength 44,000. Sun Goku, Combat Power 44. Oolong, Combat Power 2. Bulma, Combat Power 4. Unknown, Combat Power 9. Unknown, Combat Force 2. Goku, stop practicing, an enemy is coming. Zhang Wei understood at a glance that there were two unknown combat power figures approaching the RV. If not T God and Pool, who else could it be? Brother, is the enemy strong? After the hard training, little Goku said with excitement. Goku, take it easy and don't beat people to death. Zhang Wei said. Oh, little Goku immediately became listless. Turns out he is a weakling again. The RV stopped put down the little Goku, and face the desert bandit Yamcha and his accomplice Pool. Robbery. Yamcha's business had just started, but it was ended by little Goku. 
Little Goku just suddenly disappeared from Yamcha's eyes, and suddenly appeared from Yamcha's eyes. Yamcha didn't have time to raise the sword in his hand to block. He was punched away by Little Goku. After rolling continuously in the air, it landed on the sand dozens of meters away and raised large amounts of smoke and dust. Master Yamcha, who let out a mournful cry and quickly floated over. The smoke was billowing, making it difficult to see what Yamcha looked like now after taking a mediocre punch from Little Goku. There's no harm in the smoke. Zhang Wei cast his gaze in the direction where Yamcha fell and said suddenly. Under Zhang Wei's suddenly expectant gaze, the smoke gradually dispersed, revealing Yamcha inside. I must say that he is indeed the god of tea. He can even break the law of smoke without harm. Zhang Wei looked at Yamcha, who was curled up and lying on the sand, unable to get up again, with a weird posture, putting on a famous scene in advance, and was dumbfounded. Master Yamcha, wake up. Pool on the side was crying so hard that he was so sad. Pool, this dragon can grant you a wish. When Pool anxiously circled the unconscious Yamcha, a three-meter-tall cyan dragon man appeared in front of him. Please let Master Yamcha recover. Pool didn't think much and immediately asked the cyan dragon man. It's very simple. Zhang Wei took the opportunity to acquire a complete version of the transformation technique from Pool and teleported back to the RV. Yamcha also woke up and his injuries were healed. Master Yamcha, Pool threw himself at the god of tea. At this moment, even if he was just a small animal, his true feelings were revealed. When Oolong was about to start the RV and leave, Yamcha was already running quickly and blocking the front of the RV. Why, you haven't been taught enough lessons and you still want to continue robbing? Oolong is quite a bit like a fox pretending to be a tiger. Oolong, Pool, at this time, Pool also floated over, their eyes met, and Oolong recognized each other. Oolong was a little confused. When he was in kindergarten, he often bullied Pool. Unexpectedly, after leaving kindergarten, the coward Pool actually started robbing in the desert. It was greatly beyond Oolong's expectation. My name is Yamcha, I became a sand sea robber just to survive, not my intention. I have realized that my real idea is to become a powerful martial artist. Please let me join you. Yamcha knelt down heavily and realized the truth. Goku, with you, I can clear the tea god's name with one punch. Zhang Wei glanced at the naive little Goku and thought for a while. Although the tea god had no value in cultivating him, there would be no harm in hiring an extra younger brother to run errands for him, so he called Yamcha and Pool to get in the car. But after accepting Yamcha, Zhang Wei suddenly realized something. Sure enough. When Yamcha saw Bulma who was applying a facial mask, her phobia of girls immediately broke out. She was nervous and at a loss, and her mind went blank. Your name is Yamcha, right? Since you want to become a powerful martial artist, first of all, start by overcoming your fear of girls. Zhang Wei suppressed his laughter and told Yamcha to work hard. This robber seems to be a talented person, but I didn't expect that he would behave so poorly in front of girls. He is incomparable to brother Zhang Wei. It's a waste of his good skin. It's really useless. Bulma looked at Yamcha who was acting abnormally in front of her and curled her lips. There was no sign of being infatuated with Yamcha in the plot. Zhang Wei lit a cigarette for himself with a smile on his face, very satisfied with Bulma's reaction. If Bulma was like in the plot, she would always have red eyes and be obsessed with handsome men. Is Zhang Wei shameless? It seems that these days have been quite effective in educating Bulma. After the RV drove out of the Sand Sea, it was still a few days' journey from Ox King's Flame Mountain. Zhang Wei also began to use the Kame Senryu method to train Yamcha, and asked Bulma to make another high-tech gravity suit that can be used by people on Earth. To be honest, in the early stages of the plot, Yamcha can join the protagonist group, which shows that even if his martial arts talent is not as good as Krillin and Tianjin Fan, it is still better than that of most people on Earth. Unfortunately, after the Saiyans attacked, all the Earthling characters in the protagonist group became garbage. Yamcha was so shocked that he gave up martial arts and went to play baseball. Just exercise Yamcha after a few days. Didi, Sun Goku, Combat Power 55. Yamcha, Combat Power 11. Yamcha has been greatly improved. Don't underestimate it, it only increases combat effectiveness by two points. 
the combat effectiveness in the early stages of the plot is still very high. Especially when the combat effectiveness breaks through to double digits, he is already a superman in the eyes of ordinary people. Even when facing a pistol, he can deal with it calmly. Without Zhang Wei using the Kame Senryu training method to train Yamcha, Yamcha would not have been able to improve his combat effectiveness by two points in just a few days on his own. In addition, after living with everyone, Yamcha also overcame his funny phobia of girls and went to the other extreme, becoming very interested in girls. Every time the RV stopped in a populated town, Yamcha would freely move around and whenever he met a young and beautiful woman, he would strike up a conversation without any prior knowledge. Chowder hasn't shown up yet. When exactly did he show up? I can't remember clearly. Seeing that the flame mountain was just ahead, he could already feel the heat wave that was far stronger than other areas, Zhang Wei thought in confusion. Brother, the Dragon Ball radar shows that there is a Dragon Ball in the mountain burning with blazing flames ahead. Bulma said worriedly, it doesn't matter, this flame is nothing to me. Zhang Wei said lightly, seeing that Zhang Wei was confident, Bulma no longer worried. The confident big brother is even more handsome. What's wrong, we're about to meet Ox King. According to rumors, he is a murderous big devil. Anyone who enters Ox King's territory will be regarded as a thief who covets the huge treasure he has collected, and will be killed mercilessly. Oolong, who was driving, started to get scared when he thought about the rumors about Ox King, but when he thought about little Goku and his big brother, he became less scared. Didi, unknown combat power data is approaching. Unknown. Combat power 40. Not long after, the RV was stopped by a tall and strong man, carrying a giant axe, wearing binoculars on his eyes, and wearing a hat with sharp horns on his head. You thieves are here to steal my treasure again. You. If you don't get out of the car quickly, you will die. Ox King raised a giant axe with one hand, pointed at the RV and shouted. Brother, I'll leave the rest to you and Goku. Oolong was startled by Ox King who suddenly blocked the car. He shrank under the driver's seat and hid. Oolong, you are just a coward who bullies the weak and fears the strong. Pool never missed an opportunity to make fun of an own goal. What's wrong with a coward? He's better than a dead ghost. Oolong snapped at Pool. Master Yamcha, can you take care of that vicious big guy? Pool asked with absolute confidence in Yamcha. Well, I probably can't beat Ox King, let you down Pool. How could Yamcha, who is a bandit, not have heard the rumors about Ox King? Now that he has seen Ox King with his own eyes, he is still self-aware. Brother, is this the Ox King that Oolong mentioned? I finally met a master. Let me go down and meet him, brother. Little Goku requested excitedly. You go ahead. Zhang Wei agreed. Little Goku couldn't wait to jump out of the RV and walk towards Ox King. After being trained by brother Zhang Wei, little Goku can feel that he is many times stronger than before. I have long wanted to have a hearty battle with a master. But what he encountered on the journey, whether it was Oolong or Yamcha, could not let little Goku fully display his stronger power. Even though the Ox King in front of him is still weak, he can barely fight against the stronger little Goku. HMPH, you actually let a kid come out to die. Then I will accept your life without mercy, kid. Ox King raised his giant axe high and was about to swing it down ruthlessly at little Goku. His eyes suddenly fell on an object carried on little Goku's back. This is, kid, let me ask you, is the stick you are carrying on your back a wishful stick? Where did you get that stick? Ox King stopped his movements, put away his axe, and shouted loudly. Little Goku, who was about to take action, stopped when he saw Ox King asking questions, and answered all questions. Oh, of course this is a wishful stick, it was left to me by my grandfather. Grandpa. Could it be that you are Sun Wuhan's grandson? Ox King's voice softened and he asked. Do you know my grandfather? I am Sun Goku, and Sun Wuhan is my grandfather. We live in Baozi Mountain. Little Goku said happily. Ha ha, hello, Goku, the grandson of senior brother Gohan. I am Ox King. I once studied under Master Wushan together with senior brother Gohan. Seeing that little Goku is the grandson of an old friend, Ox King's hostility disappeared. The more he looked at little Goku, the more friendly he felt. So you are grandpa's friend. Little Goku said happily. After turning enemies into friends with Ox King, 
Zhang Wei and others naturally got out of the RV and introduced themselves to Ox King. According to Ox King, he has asked his daughter Chi Chi to borrow a banana fan from Kaim Senan to extinguish the flames of the Flame Mountain. Zhang Wei knew that the turtle immortal had lived for hundreds of years and had collected many treasures, including the banana fan. But it was not taken seriously by turtle immortal, and it was lost at some point. So, Chi Chi can't borrow a banana fan. Ox King, to put out the fire in the Flame Mountain, why do you need a banana fan? I can put out the fire for you. Zhang Wei smiled at Ox King. He doesn't like Ox King, so there is no need to grant Ox King a wish, so he can use the method in the plot to put out the fire for Ox King. Young man, don't talk nonsense. Ox King didn't believe it. If other means could be used to extinguish the fire in the Flame Mountain, would Ox King still watch the fire burn to this day? Then just wait and see. Zhang Wei didn't talk nonsense either. Facing the mountains in the distance that were submerged in the Sea of Fire, Zhang Wei was full of confidence and showed the starting position of Turtle School Qigong. This gesture, could it be? Ox King was very surprised, because he had been practicing under Kamezenren for a long time, but he still hadn't learned this trick. The secret skill of Guixian flowing under the box is not something that ordinary people can easily learn. I understand, brother is going to use turtle-style Qigong. But what does this have to do with extinguishing the fire on the mountain? Little Goku showed a puzzled expression. Apart from fighting, he had never thought that the turtle-style Qigong taught to him by his elder brother could be used in other ways. Yamcha, who aspired to become a powerful martial artist, stared at Zhang Wei's movements intently. Ha, no, card, Mei, ha. As if the main gun of the universe battleship fired, powerful blue energy gathered from Zhang Wei's palm, and then a huge blue light beam shot towards the burning mountain. It's really turtle-style Qigong. Under the blue light of turtle-style Qigong, Ox King said with shock on his face. So strong. Is this the strength of a powerful martial artist? Yamcha said with longing. Big brother is so strong. Big brother is my goal. I must practice harder and surpass big brother. Little Goku's face was full of excitement and his tone was firm. Brother is so handsome. Bulma loves you so much. Bulma's eyes were filled with red hearts, and she still held her face in her hands. After the blue light beam dissipated, everyone looked again and saw that the flames on the mountain had been extinguished. Brother Goku, you are so powerful. You can even perform the turtle-style Qigong. I am so resigned to it. Did you also practice under Master Wu Tian? Ox King laughed happily, and reached out to pat Zhang Wei's shoulder affectionately. Apparently, he misunderstood and regarded Zhang Wei as his fellow disciple. My turtle-style Qigong was indeed obtained from the turtle immortal. Zhang Wei had no need to lie. Ha ha ha, I'm so happy today. Please come to my house and I will treat you well. Ox King was even happier when he saw that the fire was out and his house was still there. What level is Turtle Immortal? What level is Zhang Wei? The Turtle Immortal in the plot has long abandoned his martial arts. To perform his special skill, Turtle Style Qigong, he has to use all his muscles and exert all his strength, so naturally he cannot control it exquisitely. And with Zhang Wei's strength far exceeding that of Turtle Immortal by a thousand times, he can naturally control the power of Guishan Qigong at will, and he can naturally extinguish fires without damaging anything. Ox King invited Zhang Wei and others into his house and entertained them. After the guests and hosts had a good time, Zhang Wei asked Ox King for the Seven Star Dragon Ball in his treasure house. Ox King not only agreed, but also presented a priceless treasure to each of Little Goku and others. He also persuaded Zhang Wei and Little Goku to stay in his home for a few more days. The next day, Ox King found Zhang Wei and said worriedly, Zhang Wei, I have something to trouble you. You're welcome, just say it. Zhang Wei had already guessed why Ox King was looking for him. Then I'll say it straight. Zhang Wei, didn't I say yesterday that my daughter Chi Chi should go to teacher Wu Tian to borrow a banana fan to put out the fire? Chi Chi has been out for a while. Calculating the time, he should be back long ago. Chi Chi is traveling alone and is afraid of strangers. I am worried that she will encounter trouble on the way. Please help me and bring Chi Chi back. Quote, Ox King requested. Being able to perform turtle-style Qigong, Zhang Wei's strength definitely exceeds his own. When it comes to his daughter's safety, Ox King is of course more willing to ask Zhang Wei instead of little Goku. 
Zhang Wei was not interested in Chi Chi and had no intention of blocking Hu Sun Goku's marriage, but he still nodded. Oops, I almost forgot. This is Chi Chi's picture. Ox King slapped his head and cursed himself for being stupid. How could he ask others to help him find someone without even giving them a photo? He took out a photo from his coat pocket and handed it to Zhang Wei. The photo shows a cute little girl dressed up like Ultraman. Goku, I leave it to you to retrieve Chi Chi. Passing the photo to little Goku, Zhang Wei smiled meaningfully at Ox King. Ox King was in a daze. I asked you to help find Chi Chi, you agreed, and then you turned the matter over to your little brother. But soon, Ox King came back to his senses and smiled meaningfully at Zhang Wei, then looked at little Goku with a satisfied expression on his face. Obviously, Ox King and Zhang Wei, heroes have the same vision. Goku, I'll give you a ride. After a while, I noticed that there was an Ox King-like aura at the 13 o'clock position. Zhang Wei smiled and asked little Goku to come over, grabbed him, and threw little Goku in the direction of Chi Chi. A few hours later, little Goku took Chi Chi's hand and returned to the Flame Mountain. Zhang Wei saw that Chi Chi's face turned red with embarrassment when he looked at little Goku. It was obvious that something happened when he was with little Goku. Looking at each other with Ox King, the two smiled tacitly. Ox King also felt closer to Zhang Wei. Another day later, Zhang Wei declined Ox King's offer to stay. Under Chi Chi's reluctant gaze on little Goku, the RV took everyone away from the flamed mountain in a hurry. How about asking Bulma to make a wish and send me to the Chowder Gang? With the last one left and the one star Dragon Ball not being obtained, Zhang Wei has lost interest in waiting for the Chowder Rice Gang to jump out on their own. And at this time, the RV has driven through a forest of giant mushrooms and arrived at a small town composed mainly of semicircular buildings. The people here are all dressed up like Arabs. As soon as the RV entered the town, it attracted the attention of two soldiers wearing black military uniforms, carrying rifles on their backs, and wearing long rabbit ears on their heads. They looked at each other and came forward with a smirk. Rabbit group. After Yamcha easily dealt with these two ungrateful things, Zhang Wei also remembered their identities. They also became somewhat interested in their boss, a rabbit with the superpower of turning people into carrots. This rabbit's superpower is somewhat similar to Majin Buu's ability to turn people into snacks. However, to activate rabbit's ability, you need to touch the opponent with your hand, not remotely. Majin Buu only needs to emit a changing light, and as long as it hits the target, he can turn people into snacks of various flavors. Zhang Wei even thought in a wicked way that after acquiring the rabbit's superpower, when he meets Majin Buu in the future, he will turn Buu into a carrot. Jia Jia Jia, don't run away if you have the guts, our boss will be here soon. A soldier with a bruised nose and face spoke harshly. How dare you be so arrogant? The tea god was not used to it, so he went up and kicked the soldier, making the soldier cry. Within a few minutes, a rabbit-shaped car drove into this small town where the residents had already fled home. A rabbit wearing sunglasses and looking like a social brother got out of the car. Our boss is here, you just wait to die. Boss, these outsiders resisted our rabbit group and beat us like this. You must make the decision for us. Zhang Wei looked at that rabbit with a lot of interest. Didi, rabbit. Combat power 5. Soldier 1. Combat strength 5. Soldier 2. Combat Strength 5. Unknown. Combat Force 2. Unknown. Combat Power 5. Unknown. Combat Power 5. Ha! Huh. Zhang Wei suddenly noticed that not far from him, there was an extra data with combat power of 2. To know on Earth, the data of combat effectiveness 5 and 4 are everywhere on the street, but the data of combat effectiveness 2 is very eye-catching among a bunch of data of combat effectiveness 5 and 4. Chowder you finally showed up. Zhang Wei stared at the direction where the combat power 2 data appeared and smiled. Brother, I remembered. That rabbit, I once heard someone mention, has the ability to turn people into carrots. Don't let the rabbit's hands touch your body. The tea god stared at the rabbit, thoughtfully, then his face changed drastically and he said quickly. I see. Zhang Wei nodded to the tea god. Oh, I'm sorry, my subordinates are ignorant and have offended you. Which of you is the leader? Rabbit came over and put on an apologetic smile. I am. Zhang Wei looked at the rabbit playfully, like a cat catching a mouse. 
On behalf of my subordinates, I sincerely apologize to you. Please forgive me. Rabbit bowed to Zhang Wei and stretched out his hand with a smile on his face, apparently wanting to shake Zhang Wei's hand. Brother, don't be fooled. The tea god on the side quickly reminded him, but Zhang Wei had already stretched out his hand and held it with the rabbit. The tea god's expression changed drastically. The smile on the rabbit's face immediately disappeared and was replaced by a sinister expression. Boy, if you dare to mess with our rabbit group, you are finished. I will turn you into a carrot and eat you. Rabbit looked at Zhang Wei, who was taller than him, with an expression of, you are a big sabi. Turn me into a carrot and eat me. Just you, you made me laugh to death. Zhang Wei also looked at the rabbit that was shorter than him, with disdain on his face. Soon, a look of horror appeared on the rabbit's face, why haven't you turned into a carrot yet? Because you are a scumbag. Zhang Wei mocked, in the plot, superpowers and magic are not invincible, and cannot be effective against opponents whose combat power far exceeds their own. Blue from the Red Ribbon Legion, his superpowers are ineffective against Dao Bai Bai. Dumplings also have superpowers, but because they can't keep up with the combat power in the later stage, they become useless decorations. Rabbit only has 5 points of combat power, so he wants to turn Zhang Wei, who has more than 40,000 normal combat power, into a carrot. I want to fart. Seeing that Zhang Wei was safe and sound, the tea god breathed a sigh of relief. Zhang Wei exerted a little force, and the rabbit howled like a slaughtering pig, and the palm of his hand shaking hands with Zhang Wei was crushed to pieces. Then Zhang Wei's hand grabbed the rabbit's neck and lifted it up. In rabbit's fearful eyes, a three-meter-tall cyan dragon man appeared in front of him. Rabbit, you can make a wish to this dragon to send you to the police station to surrender, or die now. Your choice. Zhang Dashenlong raised the rabbit in front of him with a grin on his face. Is this still a choice? Send us to the police station and surrender, don't kill me. It's very simple. Ding, get the superpower of turning people into carrots. After the three members of the rabbit group disappeared, Zhang Wei turned his attention to the direction where the combat power 2 data appeared. Chowder, stop hiding, get out of here immediately before I get angry. In a house in a small town, the Chowder King, that gum-chewing guy, turned into a three-meter tall monster. He is looking towards us. A dog wearing a ninja uniform said in horror. Hateful. That guy rabbit is really exaggerating. I didn't expect him to be solved by that guy so easily. Originally, I planned to take the opportunity to take away the six dragon balls from that guy when they were both injured. A very small blue-skinned monster wearing a hat said unwillingly. King Chowder, he found us. He asked us to go out and see him before he gets angry. A woman wearing a long trench coat and heavy makeup said in fear. Since the plan doesn't work, we can only force it. No one can stop me, King Chowder Rice, from my ambition to become the king who rules the world. Ash, Xiao Wu, let's go. The blue-skinned monster decided to make a desperate move. Yes, the Chowder King. Ah Shu and Xiao Wu looked at each other and immediately responded loudly. Boom, a semicircular house near Zhang Wei suddenly exploded. In the smoke and dust of the explosion, accompanied by the sound of heavy mechanical footsteps, three bloated and short combat mechas appeared in front of Zhang Wei. Through the transparent cockpit on the chest of the combat mecha, you can also see the driver inside. It was the Chowder Trio. Didi, Chowder, Combat 2. Ash, Combat Power 5. Xiao Wu, Combat Power 5. Chowder's combat prowess is not worth mentioning, but Asu and Xiao Wu, his subordinates, are still very capable. Ah Shu is just a dog, and Xiao Wu, a female prostitute, can actually have five points of combat power. You must know that five points of combat strength is already the level of a strong adult man. In order to serve the Chowder Rice, Ah Shu and Xiao Wu also worked very hard. I am the Chowder King. I know who you are, so I'd better skip the self-introduction step. Zhang Wei's figure flickered on the spot for a moment. The three combat mechas on the opposite side exploded at the same time. The three chowders, looking very miserable, lay on top of three piles of black smoke emitting scraps of metal. Now, we can talk peacefully. Zhang Wei looked down at the three people with chowder rice. My lord, please spare us. We will never dare to take advantage of your dragon ball again. The three chowders begged feebly for mercy. 
If he had known that this 3-meter-tall cyan monster could destroy the advanced combat mecha designed and manufactured by Chowder himself with just one encounter. How dare they come out and face Zhang Wei? The moment he was discovered by Zhang Wei, he ran as far as he could. Hand over the one-star dragon balls you collected. Zhang Wei stretched out his hand towards the Chowder. Sir, we don't have the one-star dragon balls you mentioned. The fried Chowder looked at Zhang Wei's face and said carefully. You don't want to live anymore, do you? Zhang Wei's eyes widened, and the three of them shivered in fear. How could the last one-star dragon ball not be in the hands of Chowder and his gang? Dare you lie to deceive him? There is already a way to die. Sir, we really didn't find the one-star dragon ball. Before, we even thought that you used some means to block the one-star dragon ball, leaving only the signals of the other six dragon balls for people to detect with equipment. Quote, Ashiu and Xiao Wu on the side quickly spoke up. When Zhang Wei heard this, his expression immediately became uncertain. The one star dragon ball is missing. How could this happen? But looking at the three chowders, they didn't look like they were lying to him. Of course, Zhang Wei would not easily trust the chowder rice group, but he had a way to tell whether the chowder rice group was lying to him. After staying in this town for 12 hours, you make a wish to this dragon and give me the one star dragon ball. Okay, sir. Zhang Dashenlong was stunned because he could not realize this wish. That can only mean that the one-star dragon ball is really not in the hands of Chowder Rice and his gang. You ask this Shenlong about the whereabouts of the one-star dragon ball. The three Chowders immediately followed the instructions. Quote dot 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 quote. Zhang Wei's expression suddenly changed. As a dragon, he could not tell the whereabouts of the one-star dragon ball. What is going on? Could it be that the one star dragon ball has completely disappeared from this world? The plot has undergone unknown changes, and Zhang Wei doesn't know whether it is good or bad. If it is bad, Zhang Wei just responded calmly. Because he is a divine dragon. Sir, we have done everything you said. Please, for the sake of our obedience, treat us like we're nothing. The three chowders begged, shut up, you too. Chowder, beg for mercy. Zhang Wei stared at the chowder. According to the rules, there is no wish maker with plural wishes. Ashiu and Xiao Wu quickly shut up and focused their survival attention on their king. Sir, please, for the sake of our obedience, treat us like farts. Chowder begged. It's easy. After sending the three chowders away randomly, Zhang Wei gained Chowder's scientific research capabilities and a junk wish that could be exchanged for 100 fairy beans. After solving the problem of rabbit tuan and chowder rice, Zhang Wei released the humanoid dragon transformation and returned to the RV. It's a pity. I don't know what happened. The one star dragon ball is gone, and now there are only six dragon balls left. Zhang Wei explained the situation to everyone. The absence of the one star dragon ball, in addition to the reason for the disappearance of the one star dragon ball, made Zhang Wei uneasy. He was indifferent to the fact that he could not collect all seven dragon balls. As long as he solves the root cause of his peers and replaces them with his own dragon balls, Zhang Wei's goal will be achieved. Throwing the five dragon balls into the system space to eat ashes, Zhang Wei returned the four star dragon balls to little Goku. Brother, the search for the dragon balls is over. Are you and Goku willing to follow me to Exidu and visit my home? Bulma said expectantly. Exidu, Zhang Wei thought about it. When Bulma mentioned Exidu, the first thing he thought of was that when Piccolo Daimao becomes a demon again, he will destroy a city on the earth every day. And Exidu was the first victim drawn by Piccolo Daimao. How unlucky. However, despite the negative idea, Exidu is one of the most prosperous metropolises on earth. Can the city where the world's richest man lives be any worse? Zhang Wei had nowhere to go now, and he liked the prosperous life in the metropolis. Moreover, the cultivation of little Goku in the future would be inseparable from the gravity chamber and spiritual time room created by Bulma, so he agreed to follow Bulma to the western capital. That's great, brother. Bulma was so happy that Zhang Wei was willing to follow her home. Since Zhang Wei is going to Exidu with Bulma, little Goku and Yamcha must also follow. As for the Oolong, I have the opportunity to go to a big city, go to the home of the world's richest man, and see the colorful world. Why not go along and continue to stay in the countryside and interact with village girls? Under Bulma's guidance, the RV moved forward. 
After driving for several days, it finally drove from the small road onto the highway and drove along the highway to Exidu. Bulma's home is a large and luxurious villa, covering an area as large as a museum. Can the home of the world's richest man be any worse? Entering Bulma's home, Zhang Wei's first thought was, the rich lady smells so good. Come and live Vegeta's life, here I come. Bulma, where have you been? Your father and I are worried about you. Are these all your friends? Oh, there are two handsome guys. Bulma, you can't be too busy outside. Quote. Young Bulma's mother, Mrs. Brive said enthusiastically. Mom, don't talk nonsense. They are all friends I met during my travels. Bulma glanced at Zhang Wei subconsciously and quickly said to her mother. Mom understands. Mrs. Brive followed her daughter's gaze and glanced at Zhang Wei, who was chewing gum and handsome. Seeing Bulma's nervous look, the smile on her face immediately widened. The smile was a meaningful one, and my daughter has finally grown up. Zhang Wei and others also greeted Mrs. Brive politely and introduced themselves. After introducing herself, Mrs. Brive welcomed her daughter's friends into the spacious and bright living room, and ordered the servants to serve tea to entertain the guests who had come from afar. Everyone and Mrs. Brief started chatting, and the most talked about topics were about Zhang Wei and Bulma. It didn't take long. After receiving the news, Dr. Brive put down his work and came to the living room. Dad, Bulma, you're back, are these your friends? Zhang Wei and others also stood up, greeted Dr. Brive and introduced each other. They are all great young people. Just treat this place as your own home, don't be formal and relax. Dr. Brive said enthusiastically. When Mrs. Brive saw her husband coming, she glanced at Zhang Wei who was chatting with Bulma. With a smile on her face, she whispered a few words to Dr. Brive. Bulma and that handsome young man who looks very mature and steady at first glance. Is that so? Dr. Brief also sighed in his heart that his daughter was getting older, and he also paid more attention to Zhang Wei. Start talking to Zhang Wei. Zhang Wei also set his sights on the pendant on Dr. Brive's body, a little black cat. This reminded him of the big black cat his cousin raised. He wondered where his cousin and the big black cat were now. I wish my cousin and the big black cat are safe and sound. After chatting with Dr. Brive for a few words, the topic turned to the little black cat. When we talked about the little black cat, Dr. Brive was obviously interested. The two chatted, and then started talking about science from the little black cat. This time, when we talked about his major, Dr. Brieve's interest was like a forest on fire, and it was out of control. As the chat between the two deepened, the more they chatted, the more speculative they became. My eldest brother turns out that in addition to martial arts, he has profound attainments and great strength, and is also proficient in scientific inventions. Yamcha looked at Zhang Wei with admiration as he chatted happily with Dr. Brieve. As for the content of the two's chat, Yamcha said that he didn't understand anything, but he felt that they were very powerful. Zhang Wei has fulfilled the wishes of Bulma and Chowder, and has their genius scientific research brains and scientific knowledge. He can chat with Dr. Brief about scientific inventions and other topics with ease. Young man, you are such a genius. With your talent, why haven't I heard of your name among the world's top scientists? Dr. Brive said with sincere admiration. For Zhang Wei and Bulma to be together, Dr. Brive at this moment fully agrees. In his eyes, Zhang Wei was definitely the most talented young scientist Dr. Brive had ever seen in his life, except for his daughter. Dr. Brive, I am self-taught. Also, I am not a scientist by profession. Zhang Wei said this. Of course he is not a scientist. As boring as scientists are, it would be much more interesting to find more powerful guys to fulfill their wishes and copy everything about them. Life is about living as you please. Zhang Wei, you are too humble. If you are not a scientist, then there are not enough people in the world who can be called scientists to count on one hand. I can introduce you to the world's top circle of scientists. Quote. At this moment, Dr. Breve felt as if he had discovered that Chalima was possessed by Bull. Thank you, Dr. Breve, then. Zhang Wei thought for a while, it wouldn't be a bad thing to get to know the top scientists on Earth and get involved in their circles. Don't underestimate Earth's scientists. Earth scientists, don't think that even the spaceship has not been invented yet. 
but an artificial man whose strength exceeds that of the universe emperor and is capable of defeating Super Saiyan 1 was invented by Earth scientists. It's a convenient thing, you're welcome. Dr. Brive was also very happy to discover a scientific genius. We also talked about some of the topics that Dr. Brive is researching. Zhang Wei put forward many wonderful ideas, which also gave Dr. Brive a lot of new research ideas. Zhang Wei, follow me to the laboratory. I need your help on some of the topics I'm researching. Zhang Wei couldn't refuse, so he followed Dr. Brive to his laboratory. Dad, Bulma expressed displeasure with Dr. Briff, the young man who had become her true love. How can anyone arrange for a guest who is visiting his home for the first time to help him with his work? Dad is so unkind. Seeing her husband dragging his daughter's sweetheart away, he sneaked into the laboratory. After Mrs. Breve chatted with everyone for a while, mainly about topics related to Zhang Wei, she ordered Bulma to arrange everyone's rooms. Bulma arranged the most comfortable room in the house for Zhang Wei. Although other people's rooms are not as good as the room Bulma arranged for Zhang Wei, they are not far behind. Everyone has a room. Exception is Yamcha. Pool wants to share a room with Yamcha. At night, Zhang Wei finally broke free from the clutches of the workaholic Dr. Breve. For nearly 10 hours, he was in the laboratory helping Dr. Breve with scientific inventions, and from time to time he would discuss various technical problems. It is simply much harder than fighting a big battle. But, it seems that when I came to the Dragon Ball world, I didn't fight a serious battle. The next day, early in the morning, Dr. Briff wanted to win over Zhang Wei's young man again. Zhang Wei is definitely Dr. Brive, the most satisfying scientific research assistant I have ever had in my life. If it weren't for the relationship between Zhang Wei and Bulma, Dr. Briff would definitely offer a sky-high remuneration to hire Zhang Wei as his scientific research assistant. But, Zhang Wei has begun to train little Goku and Yamcha, unable to leave. Dr. Brive could only express his regrets and agreed with Zhang Wei that the morning would be used to arrange martial arts practice. But be sure to help out in Dr. Brive's lab in the afternoon. Hey, don't make your own decision for me, Dr. Brive. Zhang Wei wailed. That's all. Zhang Wei started living under the same roof with a rich woman. After training little Goku and Yamcha for a while. Didi, Sun Goku. Combat Power 100. Yamcha. Combat Power 21. In the Dragon Ball world, weight-bearing exercise is indeed the most effective method of exercise. Yamcha's high-tech gravity suit will last a long time. For little Goku, Zhang Wei has already begun to think about whether the gravity chamber should be online. A light bulb went on. Zhang Wei suddenly thought of Planet Vegeta, the hometown of the Saiyans, where the king had set off the most beautiful fireworks in the universe. The environment of this planet seems to be ten times the gravity of the Earth. If little Goku lived in such an environment, Zhang Wei told Bulma his thoughts immediately. Both Zhang Wei and Bulma supported Zhang Wei unconditionally. Soon, after the heavily purchased materials were in place, Zhang Wei and Bulma joined forces to create a living environment with ten times the gravity of planet Vegeta for little Goku. At first, little Goku couldn't adapt to it. Living in an environment with ten times gravity, he kept falling over. But within a day, the ten times gravity environment seemed to awaken little Goku's Saiyan blood. Little Goku can already live normally in an environment with ten times the gravity. The strength has also begun to skyrocket. Didi. Sun Goku. Combat Power 155. Yamcha. Combat Power 28. Sure enough. The gravity chamber is an indispensable plug-in for every time traveler who travels to the Dragon Ball world and becomes a Saiyan. But I'm a dragon, so I don't need a gravity chamber. Quote. Looking at the little Goku's combat power data that was refreshed almost once a day on the combat power detector screen, Zhang Wei couldn't help but sigh. In an environment with 10 times gravity, little Goku doesn't even need to practice. As long as he lives a normal life, his strength will improve. One month later, Didi, Sun Goku, Combat Power 240, Yamcha, Combat Strength 47. Zhang Wei shook his head. In the Dragon Ball world, the people on Earth are inferior. Zhang Wei was not optimistic about Yamcha at all, although before the Saiyans attacked, Yamcha was not hit, and his training was no less than that of little Goku and Krillin. But in the Dragon Ball world, for martial artists, there is a cruel fact. 
Working hard in the face of bloodline talent is like a pile of soaring. Yamcha is just incidental. Zhang Wei is most optimistic about Sun Goku. Night falls. After eating the dinner carefully prepared by Bulma, little Goku and Yamcha took a rest before receiving training from Zhang Wei again. Zhang Wei said to Yamcha, Tonight's exercise is cancelled. You can move around freely. Goku and I are going out for a while. Okay, big brother. Yamcha admires and worships Zhang Wei very much. His current strength far exceeds that of his days as a robber in the Sand Sea, which is the result of Zhang Wei's training on him. Brother, where are we going? I want to continue to receive training from you. Little Goku said, let's go to Baozi Mountain. Zhang Wei had an idea in his mind that was mature, and he wanted to test it with little Goku. Through teleportation, Zhang Wei first ran to the temple with little Goku. After passing the temple's commanding advantage, he locked the coordinates of Baozi Mountain, and teleported again, taking little Goku back to Baozi Mountain. Teleportation is a method of teleporting by sensing the breath to determine the coordinates. The problem is that except for little Goku, Baozi Mountain is a barren mountain with no one in it. It is impossible for Zhang Wei to locate the animal scent in the mountain to locate Baozi Mountain, right? Brother, I haven't been back for a long time and I want to visit home. Little Goku requested. Zhang Wei agreed. After little Goku went to take a look at his home where spider webs had grown, Zhang Wei took him to the top of the mountain. Goku, I allow you to look up at the moon in the sky. Zhang Wei knew the special characteristics of Saiyans, but he also retained the monkey tail of little Goku. Instruct little Goku not to look up at the moon at night without his permission. Little Goku didn't understand, but since his elder brother told him so, he just did it. Little Goku looked up very happily. He had not seen the moon for a long time. And today is the full moon. A round moon spreads its cool moonlight to the earth. Then, little Goku immediately appeared in an abnormal state. His eyes were red, his face was elongated, and his mouth was full of fangs. His body became visibly enlarged and his body was covered with hair. Soon, a huge King Kong, ape the size of a tall building appeared where little Goku had been. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.